Hello everybody, I think I'm ready to get started. Welcome Aether. Hope you're doing well today. So let's chat briefly. Welcome Murphy. Uh... Well, we still only have three party members, but I know we're gonna get at least one more. Otherwise, why would you have the feature to swap people in and out of the party? So I, I guess we'll just keep going. So I don't know if we've met the characters we're going to recruit yet, or if we have yet to see certain party members. Welcome, Chris. So I, I guess we'll continue. I'm like waking up this morning. I'm trying to remember the last thing that we did. I believe we were looking for crystals, so we got one of the two that we needed. Last thing we did was TTF, obviously. True. Let me go pause the music. This is the Reaper's power. I'm not gonna lie, chat. The RBR this week is actually really good. It might make me do another PSO session. I, I don't think there's a single one on the RBR I wouldn't play. I, I wouldn't play them necessarily to completion, but all of those runs are used for very specific things. So for people playing some PSO, I would highly recommend you take a look at that. Hmm? Why is it not taking my controller input? Let's try this again. Weird. I was gonna say, don't you dare have controller issues on me. <laughs> I know my controller works. We were just playing with it yesterday. It's one of those RBRs where in the old system we'd actually play it how they intended instead of charging it and then spending the rest of the week on one quest. Yeah. Honestly, start to finish. We might as well, since I don't have anything to say for Wild Arms until the game boots up. Uh, the first quest is really, really good for Vices. Purple ID, uh, live in large with how many Canadines there are. From the standpoint, the second quest is Box Run Heaven. Third quest is Blue ID Limiters. Oh, and now it registers. Whatever. <laughs> right, Chad? I'm like, whatever. Oh, Aether's noting. Yeah. See, the thing with yeah, the thing with that is uh, a, a a bunch of different IDs can do box runs for Phantasmal World Three Ether. So if you've never done a box run. All you need to do from the start is go to the first room, clear the three that are there, make a left, you'll end up, end up in a room where you need to be roughly centered, kill the two dolums, behind you without rotating your camera, you shoot the two morphos, then in the same room, you walk forward, if you have freeze traps, you freeze trap roughly the upper portion of the room near the door, and then once you kill that and go in the hallway, you're done with the box run. That's the whole box run. It's one of the most powerful runs you can do as a new player. If you have anything with Hell, it is so fast. Yeah, I have a video on it for sure. We definitely have gone over that before. But definitely for people that haven't seen it, because I have a lot of videos. It It is like a three minute run tops. It is so powerful. The fact that you could get all of those boxes, that's why we call it the box run. There's like... I never actually counted. There's at least 20 boxes. I'll put it that way. There's like seven or eight rows of three. It's just, it's so good. Yeah. Even without like a V501, which I would recommend getting at some point. It, their EDK is super low. Uh, They're very good for box rares and they're one of the only ways you're going to get a high hit caliber. So that's why people will do Sky ID into it most of the time, because they want to get a caliber with 70 hit for Dark Flow. Otherwise, I would check the box rares. I think Red ID, for example, gets a Disco of Brave Man as their alternate. And you also get high level techs. 
So if you're playing a character that hasn't uh, completed their set yet, it's super, super powerful. I think I'm just gonna warp stone. That's where I want to go. I'm just like, I, I could walk, but uh, let's not. I just want to go to this. Yeah, tons of Meseta is super needed for charge in particular, with uh, Jaya. Yeah, I'll put it this way. In like an hour, I got about... 600,000 Meseta if I sell all the armor. It, it, is, it does fluctuate a lot. It's not guaranteed, but sometimes you'll get runs where it's all Meseta, and that's where it gets really disappointing. And then other times... That was weird. I couldn't select that the first time I walked there. We're gonna go to the Dragon's Vein. I'm assuming that's where the last crystal is. <coughs> yeah, it's, it's super, 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 super strong. The fact that it's 200% XP, once you get like a V5 unit, I was writing out the averages. I was getting on average somewhere between uh, 188, 192 XP per second, assuming I land a mixture of every shot versus missing a couple shots, which I think is uh, super strong. So for people looking to level, I literally leveled last night doing that. So just an hour of solo of really easy killable enemies while also getting about 550,000 Meseta. Ooh, these enemies are not good. I could party wipe here, actually. It doesn't seem like it, but I think these are the things that cause insta-death. Also, wow, our defense scales into the heavens. I'm literally taking zero. Yeah, you're the assassin bugs. I don't want to deal with you. That feeling when you invest in accuracy and you still miss. That's the worst feeling in the world, chat. I mean, it's worth killing them. They're worth a lot of money. I did check, chat. There is, There are zero ways to reset it in Wild Arms 2. They apparently have resets in later games. So yeah, we're, we're stuck with our choices. <laughs> Sadly. Yeah, I'm tempted to at least do RBR after we're done with Wild Arms. Yeah, I don't know what they were thinking with that from a game design perspective. I was gonna say, there better be an item over here. I keep forgetting he automatically picks it up, so I didn't actually see what it was. Well, I'm just going to pretend it's a good item, because I have no idea what that was. I was gonna say, if it's a golden shiny, that's a good sign. I don't remember. I was getting used to the mine's enemies. As long as it does okay damage, we're fine here. Okay, they are weak to ice. See that, Chad? I vaguely recalled enemy weaknesses. Sorry, the battle thing makes you think of Attack on Titan. I'll take your word for it. It's not a show I've watched. <clears throat> How did I not find the circle? Oh. I think that's pity money. I think if you don't find anything, it just gives you random gold. I don't think that's like a set location. The golden Chinese, I think, are set locations. I still think it's really dumb that we have to search for towns this way. 
Like, hidden treasure is, like, whatever, but, like, why do- why do I not see, like, a giant town or a cave? Like, what's wrong with us? Oh my god, it's question chat. <laughs> it's like D&D, rolling, like, the investigate check, and the thing is, like, multi-stories tall. Blind like Maya? Yeah, you're right. So yeah, I highly recommend the RBR. It's prob probably one of the best RBR combos I've seen in a while. There's, as I said before, there's almost not a quest I wouldn't run there. I'm not sure if you play other IDs into the Mop Up Operation 3 specifically. I just know that's exactly what I... Uh, th when I run it, that's what I would run those quests for specifically. Acquiring the money. I guess if you're playing blue ID caves, that's also pretty good, because I think it's Gilchik as Jaya, right? And I know there's a lot of Gilchiks also in that quest. So bl blue ID is uh, eaten well with RVR. For people that were like, oh man, I don't see any super endgame hunts that I enjoy. Day is your day. Scapegoat acquired. I keep forgetting that I don't need... So, so like for everything else in the game, you have to hit the action button in order to pick it up or interact with it, except for the Golden Chinese. So out of habit, I hit confirm when close and that cancels the dialogue because I automatically pick up. I mean, I guess it's good that I automatically pick it up, but at the same time, I, d I don't remember because it's the only thing in the game that doesn't do that. Oh, I'm glad we found the town. <laughs> you just like, <laughs> right chat? Or excuse me, the Raylene Observatory. Truly, we are the masters of observation. We're like, oh, where, where to build in? <laughs> and a DM to the only player to pass the shine. Yeah, pretty much. What the heck is this? Mykonoid. Okay. Uh, does Mykonoid not like being burned? Let's find out. Oh, critical. This might actually kill instantly. Because our damage is pretty good. Nice. Thank you, Critical. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Oh, good call. Good call. I thought Mykonoid plant. I think it is. It looks like a creature that's been infested with the mushrooms, yeah. I think we've explored everything, so we'll just move on. 6,000 money, that's okay. So we'll have to put Aether Drift into the game at some point. Put your name on the list. There are a lot of wind spells in the game, so I'll see what I could do. I'm hoping... I'm hoping we eventually get another uh, character for more spells, or we get the upgraded spells soon, so that way I could put more more names in. But anyway, chat, we have a mournful cry in the dark. Oh no, help! Wow. <laughs> Why would... I'm sorry. <laughs> the The translation gets me sometimes, chat. They're like, help! And then our first gut response is, wow? Making s oh, I'm just gonna read it before I read it how they how they phrased it. Making something this suspicious is really quite a feat. What? <laughs> I mean, I think I understand what they're saying, but it's like th these are not these are not natural reactions to things that are happening. Anyway, Vicky Two says making something this suspicious is really quite a feat. Even so. Acting like we didn't see it might not be so good. Do you mean, did you, do you mean hear it? Because you didn't see the voice. In this case, it's acting like we didn't hear it. Okay, at least she corrects him. Okay. Okay, I feel a little better about that. I feel a little better about that. But big wow, chat. Oh, instant boss fight. We don't even get like a prelude. Aw, oh, the ominous hopping creature chat. 
Elemental Sphere at Undines. Oh no, is this is this is this a mana crossover? Lizardman A says <laughs> Yeah, I yeah. <laughs> well anyway, <laughs> Lizard DNA says, Oh my traveling friends, this treatment with no explanation. I was gonna say this scene <laughs> this scene with no explanation. What is even happening in this game anymore? Well chat, to give you context. Lizardian B says, Ard. There's your context. Who the heck are they? Human? Lizard? Or are they half and half just as they seem? They fit together a little too well. It can't be. Hmm. It can't be? Don't just stand there talking. Words have no real power after all. I can't move a hand, leg, or tail. Our consciousness and fate are in a nosedive. I don't fully understand, but I won't sleep well if this keeps up. I'll give you the details after we save them. Wait, hold on, hold on. He's like a giant in the overworld. How is he so tiny in combat? Oh no, we can attack his belly directly? Well, <laughs> time to shotgun him in the belly, I guess. Uh, I mean, the opposite of fire, or the opposite of water would either be... It's probably lightning. Assuming Undine... Intifada? Assuming from the standpoint of, uh... Their elemental system, I'm assuming they're weak to lightning. Otherwise, I would have gone with fire. No, their weakness isn't lightning. Hmm, okay. I'll try fire next. As we bazooka its belly. You know, just casual things that you say. Wow, its gut took more than one bazooka? That's crazy. Uh, well, I'll try burning him. Reject all fools? What a move. I don't even know what that did. I think I broke its belly. The weakness is bullet. That's pretty accurate. Miss? You can dodge spells? Is that what Reject All Fools did? I mean, right now I'm kind of wrecking this boss. Um, uh, shame, shame melee, Uki bust. What? <laughs> what? It threw an urn at me. I'm gonna bonk him real quick. Don't mind me. Oh, it is a counter attack. Well, that's not good. She's gonna have to heal now. Oh, Bazooka finally missed. I still just build meter. So I want to make sure I heal. Oh, if it targeted her twice there, she probably would have died. Kind of happy that didn't happen. I have a feeling it doesn't have that much health left. I'm going to guess less than two turns to kill. Oh, critical's huge here. That does about as much as Bazooka does. We're gonna lock on with Bazooka. This should be basically GG. I'll try... Dangoing it, I guess? So if this doesn't kill, I could accelerate her to make sure she doesn't die.
Oh, so it's resistant to ice. Then that's fair. I still think it's gonna die this turn. There's a very strong possibility, especially with Lock On. I think Lock On seems to boost damage a little bit too. So we should be doing like, yeah, GG. Bazooka too strong, chat. Everybody's weakness is Bazooka. 2700 XP, 1350 Jella, 18, 17, 17, Gimbal coin acquired. Not bad. Well, you can have him on our party. He's silly looking. Need him in the speed typing dragon from earlier? Yeah, sorry. Wizard DNA says, Phew, phew, for a joke, it sure came close to death on the job. Okay, let's get going. <laughs> We're not gonna address this. <laughs> what? Oh, uh, Hero's Adventure is about to start here and now. It's dangerous, so you all need to take cover. Thanks for asking. What? I am Liz, and this is my assistant. Ard! Ard! Hey, it's Ard. You're kidding. You understand what he's saying. We've known each other a long time, but... Not just after... But not after just two or three molts. No? Why indeed? Ard says Ard. What are you guys doing here? As you see, we are kind-hearted children of science. No matter how I look. I don't see that, but please continue. This is a volcanic region. The energy that continually spouts from the Earth is perfect for an excursion in peacetime. This is a scientist's ambition. It can't be stopped until it's fulfilled. Such honorable intentions. We don't understand. <laughs> and so... Don't leave me here. How about having a party to boost morale? The alternating events of joy and sorrow will taint future developments. I understand. Do you? Let's work together here at the observatory. Just don't hold us back. Wow, what a delight. Now holding one back is my specialty. I was born for this day. Ard, Ard, Ard. At the very least, I'd expect three kowtows, but we do live justly. As a resourceful general, let's get to that gate. After that, I, I don't understand what we just witnessed. I'll be real with you. I like that so far there's been no... Like, oh, there, that's not a floor. It's a gap. I thought it was just a dark floor when I looked at it. Perspective, please. That's the... I can see it. Don't talk so loudly, it echoes. So essentially, the lever on the other side needs to be moved. A vision flashed on my lids of me pushing the lever like a bee and dancing like a butterfly. All for wanting the title of Shooting King. Ha ha ha. Do you have a plan? With the scientific endorsements, we've got more than we can handle. But isn't that what anyone with unusual characteristics hopes for? It's just like the selfish expectations transfer students harbor. I don't care what it is, just hurry up. Being impatient is a waste of energy. Be that as it may, the Shooting King's background has no close relationships. Let's go, Ard. The Friendship Cross. Ard. Oh, memories are invading like an air raid. The ever-changing panorama. We're in for it. <laughs> what? I I feel like they're saying sentences. They are technically in English. Some of them some of them make sense. I I don't understand where this came from. What the ever changing panorama? We're in for it. How is that a response to anything we just witnessed? Are we just leaving them there? It's very word salad, I agree. I guess we're gonna go free them. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Liz says, how about, how about having a party should be, how about we form a party? The video game group, not the celebration. Punch drunk momentalism. I mean, at least this character could get away with quirky things. They seem like a quirky character. I don't understand our character responses at all. Punch drunk momentalism. You okay, shooting king? A homing instinct brought me back from a secret flower garden. <laughs> Did, uh, were they playing Mad Libs at the office? What, it, what is going on with what their responses are? That a healthy spirit comes from a healthy body is an old joke indeed. I swear, chat, we're getting Mad Libs so hard right now. Oh, we do have combat in here. Oh, well, they're doing little dancey feet. I mean, I hope you do more than zero damage. That That's it? I mean, don't I just stall my turns and heal? They're all supposed to be lizard puns? Oof. Yeah, they definitely failed that in the translation. Feel your grip on sanity slowly winning. Wow, look at our health totals. I'm almost at 2,000 already. Yeah, the HP scaling in this game is kind of kind of bonkers. Like, can we all agree? Last session I was at like 400 HP as a reminder. I've almost five times my HP in three hours. So I'm just gonna full heal off of them because I'd rather do that than do the other things. I guess I should slightly pay attention to our luck status. If it's bad, I should go to the inn. If it's good, I should probably skip the inn. I think from my observations, when we go to the inn, it's one of the few ways it resets our luck total. And I think leveling also does it. Oh, lily pads. Okay. So if I want to keep... Oh no, Ard. <clears throat> no, no exclamation mark dub bear, though. No love from chat. Chat wants Ard, though. <laughs> Ooh, those were not worth the time at all. Outside fights were much better. This is the Reaper's power. This is the Reaper's power. I, I guess... I guess the only lizard pun they had <clears throat> was Liz and Ard, I guess. Were they doing lizard puns in English other than that? Oh no, a trap! Looks like the trap has been reset. Really though, nothing's been resolved. What will you do? Only a novice would become unhinged by such a historical emergency. So, do you have a plan? Oh, I've waited for those words. It's easy, just run through before the wall shuts. Sounds just like an antelope. <laughs> My brain. <laughs> ard, Ard! When you guys do it, it looks like a like a collared lizard. Oh never mind. Looks like it's worth trying. Ard. Ah, uh, what a tragedy. I will assist even at the risk of my life. Let's go, samurai. Raw, raw, freedom, freedom. What the heck are you doing? Are you are you only going to cheer? We better do something ourselves. Is there another switch? Hmm. 
<laughs> I can imagine just bombing right in. And I'd give him the boot. <laughs> uh, can we leave? Or do you want me to do something in this room? Can't very well desert a friend, question mark. I mean, I did kick him. What do you want me to do? Is there something I could do with the statues? Okay, this one I can grab. In my defense, I used the confirm button, but I forgot to hold the direction. So I did interact with the statue, just not in a way that was helpful. Ard! Ard, Ard! Ard, Ard! Ard, Ard, Ard! Ard, Ard! Ard, Ard, Ard! Ard, Ard, Ard! Ard! Ard, Ard. Riveting dialogue. Ard, Ard, Ard. Ard, Ard. Ard, uh. Erd. Ard, Ard, Ard. Such a way with words, exactly. Ard is saying thanks. That's awfully short. Are you translating correctly? I'm sure everyone in the chat is asking the same question. <laughs> Just, <laughs> that was almost a meta question there, chat. And while your buddy's in a crisis situation, you're doing a silly dance prayer. Hmm, a dance prayer. How manic. That's not a dance prayer. It does promise satisfaction. What's with the, okay, hold on. <laughs> chat, hold on, we're, we're having this conversation again. It, it it must I'm really curious what specific words keep translating out to satisfaction. This has come up in way too many things for it to not be There there's some word in Japanese that keeps translating to satisfaction in English. <laughs> this is now like the seventh character that is promising satisfaction, which doesn't mean I think what they think it means. And it's uh an interesting translation when they leave it like that. It's very popular in the Agaruda region. Let's go, don't dilly-dally. But, as a practical problem, is it not letting an intellectual speak the same as a death sentence? Rip statue. Are you translating correctly, game? I don't think so. I think they mean in that I demand satisfaction dueling honor sense and other being satisfied. Yeah, because I, I, I'm i laughing because I'm thinking of like 5Ds in particular, where they were team satisfaction. And the other character kept shouting, satisfy me. And I'm like, I don't think that means what you think it means. But right, equip. I guess I can wear it. Or extra defense, sure. Or beret, excuse me. So do both of these hallways join up? I just want to confirm. So I guess I chose correctly, which is fortunate. Alright, no, there's secret passageways here. That's fair. Just a direct link up. Um, oh, another cutscene. I mean, they're just gonna get chucked across the pit again, right? Another lever. And this, and it's this kind again. Why do you stare at me? Such intensity is hard to ignore. After all, it's just one body. Since you're a scientist, I wonder if you could do something. Something scientific, that is. Chat, I have a, I have a more important question. How did anybody even work in this place? Like, who, who built this? And then how did they even get out of here? <laughs> I have so many questions. Anyway, something scientific that's... Oh, thank you, Prismatic Blaze, for the raid. Hope you're doing well. I understand. Let's fly. Everyone's scientific hopes make me strong. There's a fine line between fantasy and reality. <laughs> and fly. It's not even witty. Much less scientific. Let's go, Ard. The Friendship Cross. Dizzy Lizzy. 
Let's get going. Hey, hey, Bashley, he's staring at us. Don't meet his gaze. You, you won't petrify, but judging from previous experiences, you might lose consciousness. <clears throat> Welcome to Limited. Hope you're doing well. Ashley dot dot dots. Oh dear, here comes the raid. Don't leave me behind. It is I, the one who loved you all. Poor lizard. S sorry, let me go get help. You promise? That's a promise, right? <laughs> and then we just leave with Ard in our party. Uh oh, chat, there's the save point here. Run, leave him, and keep Ard, though. Chat's gonna adopt Ard as their new favorite character. How goes Wild Arms? It is wild and off the rails at the moment. If I were to explain the plot right now, the answer is I have no idea what's going on. We went into an observatory to get a crystal, and suddenly we have lizard buddies. So I guess we'll just continue to keep the lizard buddies with us. Lizard people run the world, apparently. Ooh, teleport gem. That's good. I want that for later. Uh, so it looks like I could probably slide this, right? Yeah, it's off color. So I could cross the gap there. Is there a difference? Does it matter which one I do? I don't think so. Let's try this. So yeah, we're just kind of running around. Allegedly, this is an observatory. I mean, if you if I had told you this was if you had to guess what this was, observatory is not on the top of your list. Like, look at this. What what were they doing? Like, why did they build this? Why is there a stone face in the observatory? I really want to know what these building plans were, Chad. I'm very confused. They're like, oh yes, I want to see the stars. I want, and, and to do so, I will build a giant face thing and lots of levers that nobody could reach. <laughs> to observe it, obviously, that's true. Jack got me on that one. Then there's dancing cat people? I don't... They're called lily pads, though. I don't know if that's supposed to be some kind of joke. Sorry, cat people, though. I need to progress with the story. Uh, so we are capable of one-shotting with our second best melee, so our best melee will definitely kill. So yeah, I guess we're gonna go ahead and go rescue Liz. Because we have their companion, Ard. <laughs> the translation in this game is a, uh, mmm. It, it's taken some liberties, for sure. I guess the most kind way of putting it. We should be coming back. Uh, so I should just be able to move those two blocks there. So far, the puzzles here are very simple. Push this all the way over. Is it an enigma? I think so. So I can't... Wait, hold on. How do I move this one in a way that helps me? I guess I gotta go backwards. So if I push it along the wall there, I guess I should be able to fit by it? At least I can pull it backwards if I need to. There we go. Yeah, welcome in. We're uh, just slowly going through this alleged observatory. There we go. Let's use the lever. You're late. You're so late I was just about to lay a hand on this poetry anthology I've kept hidden. I don't care if it's poetry or the Emperor of Death. I I'm in a hurry. It's as if you're casting me aside, or are you just mocking me? No worries, please. Hope you enjoy some food. Enjoy a rest. 
saw you were streaming for quite a while. In the meantime, we'll do our best to navigate this alleged observatory. Uh, let's see what they have to say about the giant stone face. Oh, nothing? Was I supposed to be able to do something in here? Okay, I can't seem to interact with anything in here. Can I kick these? Huh. I would have thought this is the way to go. Was there something I'm missing? A shade 8 hours and 33 minutes. Nice, nice. I'm gonna go back to a room just to double check I didn't miss something. Hmm. No, it doesn't look like I did. Thank you for the lure. I mean, I'll save our progress. I'm just gonna do like lots of question marks. So maybe, maybe I just wasn't close enough to interact with it? I'll try the giant face. I mean, there's no way the giant face doesn't progress. I imagine they're gonna stick their tail in it or something. So I'm trying to think of like why you would need a lizard person to continue with this. I'm gonna try this again. Oh, okay. You, I must have missed a line when I used the action button before or something. Wow, I wonder why. Did something happen? Wow, there's a lot they don't teach you at school. Just give a short explanation. In the back of the mouth, in fact, pretty far back, there's a switch. Just imagining the switch and the hand intercepted by the block makes me quiver. Hmm, I can't reach it. Okay, yeah, it's looking like it's going that way. <laughs> so sorry. What is it this time? This is terrible. I just came up with a brilliant idea. I hate to interrupt your glee, but if you have a solution, tell me. Oh, it's easy, really. We use our graceful tail. They yeah, had a feeling like it was going there. If we have, if we use our graceful tails and say flexible, the rest is easy. Please, I hate saying this after asking for help, but please, don't make things worse. Remember that gentleness is one of our talents after kindness. I'm leaving it up to you, Ard. Time to show your power. Ard. Ard! Guess he's stuck or something. Partner seems to be complaining about something. It seems. If you take calcium before bed, the absorption is best. No one fusses like Lizard. Look at you at your age, crying and complaining. In public like that, there's no need for it. At any rate, it seems his tail got caught in the switch. How do you propose we proceed? Oh, wow. Wow, Liz already with the betrayal chat. We could just let him die, that's one possibility. I mean, the guys live long enough already. Damn, chat, the lizard betrayal. Uh, that's instigation of murder. Don't drag us into your crazy plans. Let's just hurry and save him. Yeah, not long ago, you would have deserted me. A number one scientist. Chat's definitely gonna off the person. Exactly, shocked face. I imagine I just kick it. Just kicky kick. There we go. Ard, Ard, R R R, Ard, Ard. He's very grateful for the rescue. Now this is a top-notch human drama unfolding. It seems like one problem turns into ten problems, which turns into twenty problems. How do you manage to stir up so much trouble? Is trouble like a bamboo shoot sprouting up everywhere? 
or is trouble like a snowball growing bigger and bigger? But um, shh, I guess. Bonk. Steve, sick of all the human drama in my life. Yeah, we are we are with the lizard folk currently. Oh no. Look, a lever in a place like that. I, I know I don't understand the architecture of this building. How did how did they get to and from work? Did they did they just have like dozens of bodies down the pit when they chuck people across and they can't get them back? Like I have on, I have honest questions here. Hmm, there's a lever. They're all staring at him. Might there be another scramble request for me? You're not part of the battle, so it's the least you could do. Besides, good players anticipate their turn and perform with perfection. Scientifically speaking. Ha! Huh, science. Science is unavoidable as a two-bit scientist. Ready for the opening of the show of world wonders? Are you watching? The goal of science is to give people hopes and dreams. I think I'm staring at the dangers that go with scientific progress. Don't call it science, it's really just a combination of many skills. All right, all right, just switch the lever on. Ah, uh, ah, uh, what an ominous sound. Wow, teleport. Ah, oh, he disappeared! Seems like he was born under an accident-prone star. <laughs> Did we just leave him to die? Are we, are we just leaving him to die for real? Uh, okay. Well... So long, I guess? Question mark? Right, how do I get up there? Okay, there's a door up there. There's also a staircase up there. Never mind. Thought this would be a little, a little more complicated. Spe special employees only whip to pull the switch if unable to teleport. Maybe. Oh. Okay. Unfortunately, as I said before, that automatically acquired it, and I skipped it. But apparently, it's called the bolt action. The bolt action is a bayonet cartridge for use with Bashley. Exactly. Exactly. Adds new ammunition to the bayonet. They'll attack the enemy with a combination of slicing and shooting. Okay. So I imagine this is going to be our new boss killer. Okay, so we didn't get punished too hard for our earlier choices. I guess I could live with this. Just have my basic weapon for casual combat, and then we need to actually build up a boss weapon. Also, I should probably not cancel encounters, aka that exclamation mark above her head. Yeah, this is what happens if you do it too long. We're getting attacked by cat people? Question mark? Hope you're doing well, Steve. I guess we'll see if the cat's weakness is water. Nope. So we'll have to name something after Steve later. I know there's eventually going to be more spells, but we, we have a backlog going on. We'll figure it out. Go through the door. That is really unfortunate I did not line up with the door. I was off by like a half a step. Oh, there he is. Another lever. Even if you're faking it, how about noticing the lizard first? That's true, but isn't it strange? There's a pattern. Wouldn't he say something unnecessary? 
Hey, hey! Isn't that risky? Why does that guy, even when he's quiet, make me uneasy? Oh, we can't drop down to anything fun. Do I have to hit him with something? Wow, I'm putting my fate in the hands of this warship. <laughs> Just set up on fire. Truly, we are the best of friends. Ugh, ugh. Shock treatment isn't terribly soothing. I'm someone who only needs to be told to get it. No need to have the experience. I'm glad you're doing so well. It's such a relief. Ha ha ha, of course. At my death, I hypnotized myself. I can't die now, I said. And look at the result. I'm, it's sure grand to be alive. I don't care about your joy for living. Just get the lever. Why do I get treated so rudely? Judgment Day is just around the corner. You'll get yours then. I don't think I've missed any items so far. Is this the crystal? Germatron acquired. And this <laughs> yourself to not die works every ship. Something like that. These are the Germatron crystals Vil Ain talked about. Yeah, by the way, chat, if you're wondering why his name is Vil Ain, uh, we just decided he was a very, there's a very suspicious rich man employing us and we were allowed to name him. So that is the chat result. Pegasus also probably would have worked there, to be honest. Yes, indeed. This is the Germatron I've been searching for. Oh no, are we gonna kill them? After all that? The mail order ones from magazines don't begin to compare. These are superb, full of magical powers. Chat, I'm really sorry. I think we're gonna kill these characters. Maybe they'll flee? Hmm. The lane seems to be trying to use the stones to move something. I guess this would have been slightly more subtle, maybe. And this is awesome while I'm mature. I mean, I don't care for the others. Welcome, uh, uh Snoogans. Or Snoogan Zoo. Hope you're doing well. As long as I have the Germatron, I can easily make a huge monster. That's what I do. Yeah, we, we're playing through the series, sort of. I haven't decided if we'll continue beyond the second game, but we played two so far. What is it? You don't look pleased. It doesn't suit you. That reminds me, why'd you come here? Me? Why else would I be here? The Germatron, silly. You can't say you didn't know. It's the same for us. The Germatron. Well, what did you say? My plans to use the Germatron at the research lab are ruined. I wanted to make a grand war monster. So that's it. Aw, oh, okay. Makes sense. The translation of this game is interesting. Of course. The problem started when I brought Undines here for an experiment. He started acting wild. You guys saved me from near death, so I owe you. But the Germatron, never, or else I'd be pursued by dangerous men. This is proof of my loyalty to Odessa. Dot, 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 dot. Wow, isn't this like a secret disclosure? There's a traitor among you. Oh no, chat. <laughs> it's you, you. Maybe, just maybe I thought, really it might be. Whoa, how's that? It's a move too good to waste for when no one's around, but this might not be the time. Why is the translation bad? Sometimes they make no sense. Uh, they are def yeah, they definitely don't make sense sometimes, and then even then from like the, the source, it doesn't make sense. It's kind of unfortunate. It's a move too good. Oh, again. Oh, but this might not be the time. I'll just repeat that last part. So I guess we're in a boss fight now. Are they combining into one? 
Oh, oh no, they're just saying it back to back. Oh no, chat, we're fighting Ard. Lead scientific researcher Liz and his assistant Ard. Self-styled researcher. So I guess these are the joke enemies. Wild Arm 1 had a joke enemy. So maybe these will be reoccurring villains? Uh, I'll kill Liz first. Let's build some meter with these characters. I guess I'll use... Let's see how they react to ice. I'm sure Chad is not very sad Liz is going first. Can't kill him, he can hypnotize himself to be immortal. Okay, so he's not weak to ice. He's already taking massive damage. Blue... Blue Bug Liquid? A Kangard Root. Did he just poison himself? Ooh, Critical. That's huge. So we're already off to a good start, so I could do Lock On Damage here. So they are injuring themselves. Uh, I'm gonna Lock On you. So they're not weak to that. Uh, would they be weak to fire? I don't feel like this boss is gonna last very long. We are very powerful, by the way. Yeah, speaking of which. I don't think this boss is gonna be able to do much against us. We're just too strong at the moment. They should not have given me access to that 2500 XP enemy. That kind of broke the balance of the game. Dump Truck Tackle. There you go, chat. That's quite a name. Ooh, I don't get a guaranteed bazooka. I'll play it safe then. Uh, let's use water on them. Spin them around for chat so you can get a good look at the model. Uh, not weak to water either. And over. 1500 XP. Yeah, but I mean even more so than normal. I can't even get damaged at all, Sugans. Like, I... Those two levels, I literally am taking like 60 damage with no armor upgrades. So not, not hard is an understatement. <laughs> I'm like, I can't die unless they use insta-kill or confuse. Yeah, unfortunately. I don't I don't know why they scale defense so much based off a of level, but like I literally can't get injured unless they use the special attack. Okay, there we go. You fiend! If only I'd finished the bulk Boku Gidon? Okay, I guess that's gonna be a future boss. Wow, he got up. Whoa. Sorry to have troubled you. We're gonna say adios here now that everything's messed up. But we're not running away. Any historian would declare this as a brave withdrawal. Enjoy the continuation of your grand adventure. Let's go, Ard. 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 Uh-uh. Ard. So, they're all so Odessa. It's hard to hold them in contempt. Really? I mean, they've got guys like that in their organization. They got so much money, it's frightening. So let's see, we'll add Snoogans to the list. We're getting quite a backlog of names. Hopefully we get new spells or something soon. So we've been naming all of our abilities after people. I think we've run out of spells to use. But anyway, let's teleport Gem back to the town. Save ourselves a big walk. I mean, the game gave it to us on purpose, so I think it wants us to do this. Did I like Wild Arms 1? It was okay. I think the big issue with it was uh, endgame balancing. And there were some really really bad choices with rng i'm looking at you escape rate and steel in particular 
Looks too bad in battles. It's fine in battles. It's not really that different from this game, to be honest with you. If, if anything, I kind of like the combat better in one over this game so far. So I, I have the opposite opinion of what you just mentioned. Um, I guess I just upgrade damage then. So we have a boss weapon. Yeah. I mean, there's less, there's less MP management. There's just like... I don't like the limitation of levels on weapons. I feel like the other characters had more skills that I liked. The magic user so far feels very weak compared to the other one. Like, she's only got like seven spells this far in the game. That's crazy. <laughs> so we'll, we'll see what we can do with her, but... I, pretty much the moment I get a chance to swap her out, she's gone. I'd rather have another melee character, comparatively. Okay, so we could get one more spell. Is there anything we have not named after somebody? No, so we've officially exhausted our names, but we're gonna put a backlog in for people that are in here today. Like, this- like, the whole magic system is the same here, but the difference is there's half the number of spells. So even, like, this early in the game, I had, like, the equivalency of, uh, 32 spells to choose from. And some are obviously better than others, even regardless. She's missing, like, AoE options. Like, to me, it's crazy that she doesn't have a single, at least, group spell. Let alone, like, an AoE spell. So it's a little disappointing there. So I guess I'll just go for more elements. I'm not a big fan of the Crest Cap, either. It's okay. But I, I just don't have a reason to use it so far. Like, I don't think the turn spent buffing my damage will return on investment. <laughs> like, I think I'll actually lose time on the boss buffing. But so far, I have not needed to do so at all. It, I don't think it impacts gun damage. Which two out of three party members use currently. Maybe if I have, like, a pure melee character later, then I'll have that as, like, a cap. Let's see, is there anything else that I need? So we, we leveled up a gun that I can use on bosses. We have our generic clear, we have our group clear. I'm a little sad we found out about the level cap in this game by maxing Bazooka, because I would have definitely leveled this differently had I realized there was a cap. So that weapon is kind of... That weapon is genuinely kind of ruined, I'm not going to lie. This could have been way better for mid-game. So we're going to hope we get another uh, nice attack here. Yeah, like, I find it funny that, like, the all random attack stuff is going to the melee characters. It was, like, the exact inverse in the other game, where the melee characters had very few options, and they got them way later than the other characters. But oh well. So she seems to have, like, almost nothing but single target stuff, which is not my preference with Mage. I prefer to just annihilate groups. My humble opinion, arms distinguish self because it's just a blah, 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 blah. When I get muscles like yours, I'll be just as tough. We'll talk to hello. You're all wonderful. Help people. You save lives. I envy your strength. I'm not really sure what to do with the personal skills. I would say I would have liked this system a little better if there wasn't like a 100% mandatory one to get uh, HP up here. I wish none of these impacted stats. That would have been a little better. So I guess the question is, do I just focus on physical attacks? Or do I start getting resistance from magic attacks with this? Like, right now I don't have a reason to get it. So I'm not going to. Is she one point shy of magic attack up? That's so sad. Because, I mean, like, she's pure focus on magic and she does, like, literally half the damage of the melee characters. It's kind of sad. Maybe one day she'll get up there. Brad and his dog are awesome. Nice, nice. I guess we'll re we will report in since we have all the crystals. Also, I forgot to check what my luck rating was. I should probably take a quick look.
I definitely feel sad that I can't heal out of combat with the mage. That That is by far the biggest nerf of the character. Having to heal in battle feels pretty bad, because you have to sit through the animations. So at this point, I'd rather just spam healing items. I could, you know what? We haven't called in a while. Let's call in. You have both crystals. Return to Valeria Chateau. That's about what I thought they would say. Check one thing with this character. Response 78. So he's falling really far behind in terms of response speed. Interesting. Everybody's at their best luck, so I probably don't want to rest up for a while. Do you make Heelberry heal everyone in battle with their skill? I, I So far that hasn't really been necessary. I think the problem is like with HP up, I just, I've never had a use for that. Maybe one battle so far, I've had an AoE attack. Most of the time, we just kind of steamroll the enemy and they die. Villain says, Agulite and Germatron. Finally, both types of crystals are ours. With these, we can start up the Emma Motor. Yeah, because the thing is, like, just to compare, just for people that didn't see Wild Arms 1, the other character already would have had AoE heal as a spell, and they had the ability to do that with items. So I just see this character as just like a straight nerf compared to Wild Arms 1. She is so much weaker than, than how strong the magic user was in the first game. Anyway, reference to the Emma Motor, which is also Wild Arms 1, which is gathering dust in the engine room. Vicky 2 says, will you tell me what the Emma Motor is? You wouldn't understand the details, but I'll make it easy. It's lost technology that daisy chains electromagnetic links into perpetual motion. Indeed, we had to make the Emma motor in Wild Arms 1. And don't think it got its name from someone named Emma who invented it. I mean, it was. No, that's what I had thought. No, Villain. Don't you think you'd better get started on getting the Emma motor working? Maybe that was the tongue-in-cheek reference that they're like, don't, don't you dare think, player, this is from Wild Arms 1. It's totally different, Wink. You're right. Good work, everyone. Gremlin and I will start our own work now. When the Emma Motor comes online, I'll give you your next mission. Rest until then. I want to help, too. This ancient thing will start up in a jiffy. No problem at all. There's not enough time to test it out, but I'm sure she'll work fine. I think. I think our next mission has been decided. Okay, I'll make it short. As long as we're ready here, we're going to try contacting the Guardians. Guardians? That's right. Contact the mystical Guardians who protect the world, and they may aid us in battle. We have finally discovered the key to contacting them. Lost technology and Guardians. The scale of battle is increasing. How much will we be able to handle? We will handle what we must. If we flinch, everyone in the world will pay a price of pain for our weakness. Arms must not allow this one to pass. We only have a short while, but rest yourselves. Remember that rest is duty too. Oh, this might reset our, our luck meter, which is unfortunate. Oh wait, hold on, I have control. Hope those that don't leave. Missing out for the next assignment is a duty too. Oh, you're. Oh no, we're gonna go meet Cliche again. Mm -mm -mm. Well, <laughs> chat. Well, I gu I guess we have to go talk to Cliche. On some of the bosses, Insigil even works on them. In which game? This game. I was going to say, I've never played this one before, so that would be in spoiler territory. Let's go downwards a little bit. I guess we should save. I was going to say, oh boy, chat, our reward is talking with cliche. What a reward. Anyway, how, how long do you think it is, chat, before something bad happens to the village? I'm surprised they have not been destroyed, to be honest with you. We're a JRPG protagonist. 
And we even give we even gave the other love interest a communication crystal, which is setting up for them to be kidnapped. I'm very surprised this has not happened still. <laughs> I mean, like, I, I don't expect very much else to happen here. You're gonna be like, oh no, bandits have raided the village. They've taken all the orphans or some nonsense. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Is that literally happening right now? Dude, help! Three of you against these kids. That doesn't seem fair. How about taking me on instead? What'd you guys do this time? Young Arms didn't do anything to piss anyone off. In my humble opinion, these hoodlums seem to be after hello. Ugh! Hello, huh? That means they must be... Come back and fight, cowards! This is Kate. I spotted a huge flying object over the town of Maria. It registers the same heat and size as the flying machine at Mount... Oh, that is... that. Oh, that... Hold on, chat. Let me, let me prepare myself mentally for this series of letters. For Mount Celtipecchio Siltoling Gellin. That one always tricks me up. Because it's like, I keep thinking the words are going to end, and then I'm like, wait, it's the font. <laughs> the L's, the I's, and the T's. Not as distinguished as I would have ho hoped for. That was one of the... That was the flying machine, Verukis... Verukisis. Verukisis, there we go. Damn, it's too soon for the next action. Excuse me? It's nothing, never mind. We can't touch Odessa as long as they keep their forces airborne like that. There is a way to get them. Villain! Do you have a plan? Well, it hasn't been tested, so I'm not 100% sure. But then, this is no time to sweat the details, eh? All right, I'll leave it to you to get us out of this mess. First, hurry back to Valeria Chateau. Let the town of Maria air war begin. Ooh, we're getting a cutscene. Making an appearance like this isn't bad, is it? Come again. Our mission is to capture the pillar. I wish you'd not stir things up just for the heck of it. You don't have to tell me. Those monsters in the cage are taken care of, right? The defreezing of Alfeo will be completed in three minutes. Finish it immediately. You've got two minutes. Latomia, I already told you what our goal is. To acquire the pillar, right? Forget it. We'll let the monsters loose in town to cause havoc. Then grab the pillar. Will it really work? Defreezing is complete. We're ready to go. Hmm. Go stir up some trouble. Deploy the monster. Vicky 2, Thesaurus. Ashley. Rukisis is in the sky above the town of Maria. Villain is supposed to have a plan for interception, so I rushed here. We haven't heard any details, but we are supposed to gather immediately in Chateau's Area 51. Area 51, really? Okay. Area 51? Wasn't that... The Forbidden Zone. I guess it's free now. I wonder what Villain is starting. Well, I imagine we're getting on the flying machine. Maximum output from the Emma motor. Intercept enemy at full speed. Understood. Only 3.30 until Emma motor reaches its limit. All indicators are clear. We're good to go. Everything is as it was in the simulation. What a great job I'm doing. Kate's doing all right, too. Don't say things like that. Are you trying to distract me? 
You just watch the balancer. Oh. Elaine, what is this? The Valeria Chateau's secret. We'll use this to intercept him. I should have expected something crazy like this. What should we do? You are now free to use the deck. Intercept them there. Okay. Full speed ahead. The battle will soon begin over the town of Maria. Well, at least we didn't have to talk to Cliche, Chad. <laughs> we dodged that one. Wait, the whole thing is flying? Oh, oh, that's more ridiculous than I thought what was happening. I thought, I thought it was just gonna be a little ship in their backyard, not literally the whole chateau flies. That's not what I was expecting. That's something. Well, I guess we're, we are the flying fortress now. Oh, bird. What are we fighting? Moth dragon thing. Progenitor bird with wings of light. Alfeo. Well, I guess it's time to stomp this boss out of existence. Hmm. Oh wow, look at the pretty butterfly. Okay. Actually, I don't think I need to change equipment here. We should be good. Uh, do I risk the bolt action? Maybe? Let's build up some damage. Get rid of the legs. Okay, it landed. This should do some big damage. Oh, no critical. That would have been huge, actually, if that crit. Oh, and he got targeted, too, so I could get another lock on, maybe. All right, we'll, we'll play it safe here since it's already wounded. Let's go for lock on versus the other leg. So, wasn't taking damage from that. Would it take damage from... Wind... <sighs> Wind feel... Okay, let me just try ice. I'm scared to use wind and it heals it or something stupid. I'm gonna do one where I don't think it's the case first. That way I could just rule that out. Earth damage might be good. Let me try earth, actually. Hopefully that popped the wing. I'll get a head start on the other one. Like claw, okay. Alright, good call. So we're gonna punch this one so we have enough for the main damage body. Where is... We use Grenadine on the leg, Let's see if we can kill it. We haven't seen that spell yet. Okay, so that is its weakness. Makes sense. Opposite of Wind is Earth. Now we can focus on big damage next turn. RF Blade, okay. What's oh, a triple attack? That wasn't too bad. So we're gonna go for the risky turn. I wanna see if we could burst this boss from existence. So if if we land everything, this boss will probably die, to be honest. So please don't miss bolt action. All right, it looks like we hit, good sign. Big damage time. Nice. 
Nice. Oh, didn't quite die. I mean, I'm not gonna heal at this rate. Healing it. Uh, let's play it safe here. This should be GG. Most bosses seem to have less than like 4,000 health or 5,000. So I imagine within one more ability, this thing will die. I don't even think he's gonna make it through everybody's turn. Yeah, I don't think so. GG to the monster. Fifty four hundred XP, fifty one hundred money. Ashley's nineteen, Thesaurus is eighteen, Vicky's eighteen. Two resistance apples, sure. What's going on anyway? First me, then hello gets kidnapped? Why would anyone kidnap us? No one would pay our ransom. The world's gone nuts. So, were they really trying to kidnap me, or what? It sure looks like a distinct possibility. Ashley! I just found out myself. I'm just as surprised. Hello. Someone must be after your secret powers. Dude, is that true? Wait a sec, that... The Ru... The Verukesis. Odessa withdrew as soon as we defeated that monster, right? Of course, it's still too early to draw conclusions. What we have to focus on now is protecting Hello. I want you to come to Valeria Chateau with us. By my powers? You mean the powers from my medium? Oh, is he actually going to be a playable character? Alright, let's do it. Hmm... Well, I mean, to be fair, we all, he only said one line to us before we named him. That was hello. So that's all he is to us, at the moment anyway. The power to awaken the Guardians. I have that power? Lo did have a portrait on, like, Vacant and Hostar. That's true. And there are people who want to use me to get at the Guardians' power. I think technically Gremlin did too. We want to protect you so that your power doesn't get misused. I don't understand it at all, but I know I'm scared. You're scared because you don't know the extent of your own power. Let's go together to where you were born. Your fears will go away if we can learn something. My hometown, where I live with my mother. I understand. Please, take me there. Wait one second. There's no need to worry about your friends in the town of Mar Maria. We can explain everything afterwards. You'll be able to see them again. <laughs> I feel like this is so sinister. Okay. Valeria Chateau, full speed ahead. To the village of the Bascars, protector of the Guardians. How do we meet hello? In my opinion, to use the common term, we're merely stowaways. No matter how you look at it, we're stowaways. That doesn't matter. What matters is helping out hello. He needs us. That's true, but in my humble opinion, if they find us, we'll be lucky to get off with a hundred lashes. Just don't think about that. Think about getting us food. I'm so hungry they'll hear my stomach. Oof, I guess. To move Valeria Chateau forward, press the up direction or the up directional button or the X button. Turn left or right, use the right or left D-pad or use L1 R1. Actually, Scardi can board in D-plane only at the landing pad in the field. Touch the landing pad and press circle to see a choice for descending from the chateau. Touch the landing pad and press X to board. That is... Oh, we can't go backwards. We can only fly forwards. Oh. <laughs> it was Tar's stomach. You're right. Pilot the Valeria. Enter the Valeria. Get off. Yeah, let's get out. Okay, so he hasn't joined up as a party member yet. 
I'm gonna go back and get some personal skills since we're here. Just to make sure, we didn't actually lose our luck bonus, right? Yeah, we didn't. Having two people at best and one at good, I basically don't want to heal at the end if I can avoid it now. Before, when we had worse luck, it didn't matter. Now it matters. <laughs> Let's see if we could get something there. So, I could start giving him physical attack up. The question is, how much does this impact his other skills? Or is this just literally the auto attack? I think that's where, like... I would be very tempted to look up a guide to see how much of these are actually impactful. Like, these resistances, don't care. Never going to get them. The cut damage from magical attack? I don't know if that'll be useful or not. I mean, maybe for bonus bosses it will be. Convert HP. Counter attack could be interesting to get at some point. But ideally, you know, the later we get in the game, the less we use auto attacks. So I'm taking a risk by doing a physical attack. I don't know how much his skills actually benefit from this. The problem too is like compared to the other game, where like weapon damage and physical strength directly correlated to skills, I don't think they do for the most part here. At least I don't see a difference. Like we have stuff based off of, you know, the, the gun strength and maybe level. I don't know how much of it actually cares about my weapon. So maybe what we'll do is we'll purposely hold on to a bad weapon and then see the gun damage difference. Because in the other game, it didn't make a big difference. It mattered if we had like multipliers, but it didn't matter if we, we buffed it with stuff like this. So I don't think I really care about most of these. So we'll see. I mean, I guess we'll do this for now. Because I have a feeling there's a couple times, at least later in the game, maybe I'm going to try to get to 100 meter to go into super form. So he has a reason to do it. I don't know if he has a reason to do it. Her getting magic attack up is good. Her potentially getting defense up might matter since she has very low HP. So I'm more inclined to give her defense up because I don't really care about the other things. The melee characters, I don't know if it's worth getting magic resistance to kind of counter their weakness. So right now I'm not in a rush for it. I'll hold on to the resistant apples for now. As I said before, I want to I want to use those basically when I'm convinced there's a character we're going to keep long term. So scapegoat was the thing that auto revives us from the other game. So we could use that to ignore some insta-death nonsense. I love how it can just autopilot us to the location. So there are other buildings here. I guess this is the other prison. Let's take a little look around the world map before we autopilot. So, this one is definitely easier to control than the one in Wild Arms 1, but at the same time, it has less flexibility and speed. Hmm. Right, chat? I think we're coming back to this one eventually. Let's have it autopilot since I don't know where this is relative to anything. Also, I guess I should have checked to see if we have a world map. Let's see where we go. Oh, I would have never thought it would have been here. Good thing it told us where it is. Elaine says, Hidden in the forest of the Guardian worshipping Baskar. The village Baskar village is so well hidden, it's known as the Hidden Town. We know it's around here somewhere. We're afraid you'll have to search on foot. Mostly just looking for items right now. Not in a rush to go to this place. One money. Wow, not worth. Let's get into a fight here. Let's see if the money's worth it. Oh. Is this just the basic enemy we fought before? Or is this an upgraded version of the one from earlier? Oh no, it's the terrible enemy that's worth nothing. 
Okay, so fights here are not worth it. Got it. <laughs> right, chat? I'm like, uh, couldn't tell if pallet swap, but... Disappointing. Wonder why they reused such an early game area enemy. In a completely new area, for clarity. There we go. Let's go to Vascar. This is my hometown. So, I believe this is still a reference, so if you remember when we were going teleporting around places in Wild Arms 1, there was that, like, spirit village that was near the summoning circle in the first game. I believe it's the same town. Or at least a reference to it. This is my hometown. Yes. Home of the Baskars. Heirs to the ancient tradition of the worship for the Guardians. And where you were born 12 years ago. Why does he know that? But I don't remember it at all. My earliest memories are traveling with my mother far away from here. First, I would love to hear about Hello's birth. Let's go to the village, Chief. Feel free to wander around the village. Hello, there might be some clues here. I love the awkward spaces we put in that name. You have done well in coming here. As you say, Hello is the child of this village. Hello is definitely the child of Sabrina the Guardian Sorceress. Sabrina the Guardian Sorceress inspired us. She fell in love with the visiting Merc and bore his child. Child was given the name Hello and was loved by all until he was three. Then dot dot dot. I would love to hear why his mother named him Hello. Well, technically, his mother named him something, but our our player choice <laughs> overwrote that. I I want to say his name was Tim or something originally. Sabrina changed drastically when she learned that her love died from injuries sustained on a mission. Finally, Sabrina took her child and left one night. We're all overcome with grief. This is what happens when you let chat name some characters. <laughs> he vastly sang Sabrina. She died in the town of Maria. That much we know. After that, the space, 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 hello continued living there. Yes, that much of the story we ourselves know as well. For over the years, we have looked long and hard for hello. Why did you care so much? Did you know that Hello might become a pillar as well? How? Oh, how do you know so much? Hello is one of the few left who has the inborn ability to become a pillar. By pillar, you mean? Steve saying, imagine that's the whole RPG plot on a quest to find out somebody's the character name was Jerk Balls. I mean, we had that happen before. You say that, Steve. We have definitely had the adventures of Jerk before. The pillars embody the power of the guardians. Also rude hero. It is plain to see that Hello has inherited this ability for Sabrina. But in this village, there is another who also has this ability. You shall meet her soon. Is, is that going to be our next party member? Oh, I'm actually controlling them. Hello, hello. Oh, they're going to be so far behind in HP. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. And then he's got it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you telling me this character gets all the AoE spells? Wow. Why, is, why even play with the other character? Red Butte? Oh, boy. Well, Chad, we have new names for stuff. Let's check his equipment real quick. So that gives him vitality, sorcery. Wow, kind of a good combo. Are those hello's fingers in the image? 
What do you mean? Oh, do you, do you mean on this thing? Yeah, I think so. He's kind of... He has, like, the sharpest bend to his wrist. And then his fingers also look kind of weird. So we don't have any tools. Never forget that you're a child of this village, just as much as you are a child of Phil Gaia. Hmm. After living the life of a tumbleweed, I finally found my place to call my own. This village. How did you guys even get up here? Honest question. Hmm. You can't, f you can't fill either your belly or your magazine more than it'll take. You should know that, sir. Hmm. Bonk. Well, I guess we'll go this way. Elaine still seems to be talking. Sit around the village a little, but more... A bit more and see if anything stirs up memories. Just run into people. Our village isn't very prosperous. There's not much to be gained here. That's why we're depending on you. Oh. Um. I guess I'm good for now. I could get four of these for safety. Our goal is to have no less than nine of any item in case the dungeon is really spammy with their nonsense. Don't want to get hit by status ailments. They usually don't go away in this game, which is pretty brutal. Especially poison lasting very, very long, or confused lasting very, very long and killing everybody. You have your mother's eyes. Kind of a waste on a boy. You've inherited much from Sabrina, it seems. Listen, I'm just trying to rob your house. You are truly a special boy. I can just feel it. I'm sure the Guardians will accept you as Pillar. Okay, so... We have the Guardian's power with us. Oh, oops. I rotated the map and got confused. Stay here. So we've talked to those people. Oop, I did not like that. There's the stone edge thing. There's a door over here. Let's go in here. See it? Book entitled Wedge? Sure. Unlike his fellow guardians, Glaive Legable does not possess the power of cognition. Unaware of anything, Glaive Legable fills Filgaia with life without plan or purpose. The legendary ancient race of Elves, oh, reference Wildarm 1, erected a shrine to Glaive Legable to celebrate his existence. But this shrine, called Wedge, that pierces Glaive Legable, also controls his creation of life. Okay. There's a shiny thing. Can I take it? This. It's just like the one my mom had. Girl with a soft voice says, Who are you? Oh. Who is this boy? He's a stranger. I've never seen a boy my age. I don't know. Maybe say hi? That would be the normal thing to do. They say first impressions are important. I don't know. How can I be so nervous? I wasn't expecting auto-scroll dialogue there, but sure. Thank you. My name is Hello. What is yours? See, while you're busy worrying what to say, he said something first. Just be a little bit braver. Oh no, chat. Oh, and her name is Colette? Oh no! Tales of Symphonia, please. <laughs> Don't remind me of that game. Oh boy. Hmm. Well, chat, I guess we name the love interest slash relation to him could pe technically be a sister or something he doesn't remember but anyway we gotta name another character so it's all on you chat <laughs> i mean the only name technically said so far aside from hello is jerk balls <laughs> but i think that would be pretty awkward to call her that so the only thing we know about her is that she's self-conscious she has a rapid stream of thought and she doesn't speak very often, and she has a soft voice. Those are the only characteristics I know about this character.
So we'll let chat decide. You are in charge, chat. What ridiculous name do you want to give this character? See, this is the real point of the playthrough. You gotta think. These these are the things you're not expecting. Let's see. What would be a good name aside from Colette? The problem is I, I don't also get I don't have a good look of, at her character. If I'm really bored, I usually name them after colors. Trick falls. It is cliche too. Klutz, whisper, turbo brain. Hmm. Yeah, it's it's hard for me to tell if they want her to be love interest yet. It, it seems like they're setting it up for that, but it could also, as I said before, be surprise sister. So it's like, it's hard to say. Hmm. Yeah, Jerkballs fits more of a male character. Maybe next male character, we'll call him that. Color Klutz because of Tails. I kind of like that. We'll, we'll go for the meta name. That's a flute. Nice to meet you. That light. You. Why are Klutz and the mediums calling to each other? Because Klutz is a pillar, just like you, hello. I'm glad you finally have come home, hello. Oh, I thought we were going to name the village chief there for a second. I was going to be like, oh no. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. What is the power of the mediums? They become a medium through which the guardian's power materializes. Possessing the nature and ability of the pillar is necessary to bring this about. But you call hello an heir. Oh, excuse me. But you call hello an heir. What does that mean? That's right. Hello is not yet a pillar. In order to fully realize his potential as a pillar, he must undergo the trial. Undergo a trial to become the pillar? I can't do that. Not me. Is the trial dangerous? There are many monsters at the trial arena. Also, if it happens that Hello isn't fit to be pillar, then he will be able he won't be able to contain the power. If that happens. Dot da dot da dot da dot da dot dot dot. Hello, Will. I is there truly a need to ask so much of one so young? If he receives more training first, maybe he'll have a better chance. Or is there a reason why Hello must become a pillar immediately? The village dream seer saw a dream. I would hope so. It sounds like their job. The dream seer is an oracle. He sees the will of the guardians in the form of dreams. The vision he had was one of the sky being gnawed away. We don't know yet if this was a good or an, or an ill omen. Might be too late when we find out, though, so it would behoove us to awaken the pillar now. The danger might be so great that our only salvation would be the power of the Guardians. The sky being eaten away. I wonder if it could be Odessa. It's too early right now to know anything for certain. There's too much we don't know about events that are too important. In order to realize their potential as pillar, they must desire it. Where they must open their hearts to the Guardians. We cannot force it on anybody. It all depends on the will of Hello himself. But I can't. Dot, 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 dot. There is no other choice then. Plutz must become a pillar as originally planned. Plutz doesn't make as good a pillar as Hello. There is no other way. We must secure the power of the Guardians. 
Klutz is not favored by the Guardians. Then that is a fate we all must accept. It's okay. I will do it. I will become the heir. I will take the trial instead of Klutz. Hello? This is not a spur-of-the-moment decision. Are you sure? The surest way is for me to take the trial, right? Also, I don't want to put Klutz in any danger. There's something I have to do to get the power of the Guardians, and I have to do it now. We've all protected me enough. Now I can do something myself. You have no idea how happy that makes me, to finally find my place in things. This is my hometown, right? I could stay here if I become Pillar, right? Dun, 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 dun. If that's what you have chosen, then nobody can go against it. Is there anything we could do to help Hello out? At the depths of the Trial Arena is a shrine to the Guardians. Normally only those who are heirs are allowed inside the walls. But anyone can go as far as the point of entry without fear. I ask you this favor. Please protect the heir to the pillar. Would it be permitted? In that case, I will make it an official order. Arms must do everything in its power to protect Hello, the heir to the pillar. We could expect either Odessa or the monsters to attack. We will be ready. Understood. Now we have nothing to worry about, I guess. In that case, please rest for today. Tomorrow, when everything is ready, I will show you the trial arena. Ooh, it's gonna force a rest there. That's bad, I think, for us. That's really bad, actually, I think. Did that just ruin our luck bonuses? Ooh. It did. Damn, chat. We had max luck earlier. Get nerfed. Also kind of unfortunate he's level 19. I guess he matches the protagonist level. Like, look how much less health he has than Vicky because he didn't get HP up. That's kind of rough. So making him survive, like, boss encounters feels kind of impossible. Unless he gets some super resistances later. Um... I guess Vicky being out of the party is fine. So what we should probably do is use the very unfortunately named booty call to check for items. No items here. See the book entitled The Endless Sea of Mud? We'll read it. Part of Philgaia, deep within the earth, lies a luminescent sea of mud called Glaive Le Gable. The guardian of the sea of mud, Glaive Le Gable, is the source of foundation of all life. Glaive Le Gable is the pr primogenitor of every life form on Philgaia. The guardians, the ancient race of elves, mankind, and the animals. The lives that live on Philgaia then live according to their own fates and na natures. Hmm. So let's see if there's anything up the stairs there. Nope. Sabrina's blood will never come to an end. We'll always continue on. It's the very future of Philgaia. I think before we do that, we should probably... I didn't see a personal skill store here. Let's try to raise his magic up and also give him HP up. And I guess by having the launch pads, they thought about potentially not softlocking the player. Oh, I guess I could double check if there's anything in this house. Nope. Because before they had to be very careful with like golem placement and ship placement, so you would never get in a point where you would be stuck. And no new dialogue here. Everyone, I ask you to take hello and train him well. Awkward camera shift. Blood says, I've been given the duty of showing you the way to the trial arena. The entrance to the trial arena is hidden in the middle of the forest south of the village. There's no identifying mark, so be careful not to miss it. Well, I hope she's ready to go on a wild ride, because I plan on searching the overworld for a little bit to see if there's anything we can land on. But first... 
Bye, you've been kidnapped. <laughs> right, chat? <laughs> Checkmate. You thought you were showing us to the trial arena? Too bad. We're, we're, we're kidnapping you. Take that, klutz. Uh, so let's make sure my bullets are restocked. Guess we can upgrade our bolt action more. Perfect. So now if I get like one or two points of accuracy, it's fine. But we have a very strong boss weapon now. We have one for just general clears, which is fine. I like having multiple purposes of the tools. Oof, 19 points. HP up, HP up, HP up. Uh, probably physical defense up. Just because he needs to survive for a little bit. And probably up magic attack for the rest. I don't think he'll need a big boost here, to be honest with you. I don't know what it means by rest. <laughs> right, chat? I'm like, I know what FP is. Those are the force points. Hmm. Do we have access to world map? Let me check. I haven't tried in a while. We did get that one map scope thing. Does it do anything in the overworld? No. Other than updating the grid. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll go to where the chateau was. Let's see, we went north before. Should I go in this way a little bit? Does this whole area over here we haven't seen? Hmm. There's something to do over here. Game did not like that. Hmm. I don't see any other landing pads so far. That's a way of stopping the player from going too far out of their way, I suppose. We were here earlier with the teleport pad. Hmm. Hello. Well, I guess we have an optional area. One Gela, not worth it. I prefer not to skip the combat here, because I'm curious how hard it is. Oh, there's a little cliff there. Oh, is that all this does? Wait, seriously? There's nothing else to do here? Uh, okay. I see I messed with my party formation a little bit. I had to fix that. Jibby's force among your party. Oh, he doesn't know any skills? Oh, that's... Super awkward. Uh, okay, well, I didn't quite get that impression from looking at that before, but sure. Maybe because he's not the pillar yet, he can't do anything? I mean, that's fine, I guess. The money wise, not super worth it. Hmm. I'm 
mean, I think I just remove him from party then, for now. Also. This should be fun. So what's the point of this area? <laughs> right, chat? Unless, I'm, unless I miss, like, a little ramp. I don't mind getting into a couple fights here. I mean... <sighs> I have an idea, alternatively, what it could also need us to do. Jacko... How is that a Jacko lantern? It's like a buff guy with a weapon. Game please with these names. These are the Earth spell... Well... It's called Rockbuster. Would it really be weak to that? My Wind Element. I mean, the only other thought in my head at the moment, they haven't explained his abilities, so it's possible if we go to the temple, it'll explain it. Ooh, he's resistant to wind. That's unfortunate. As much of jack o lanterns that other enemy was the Leprechaun, you're not wrong. He's gonna make sure this thing dies, so I decided to shoot it. Oh, no crits. Unfortunate. Oh, he's got a chainsaw. Stone acquired. Maybe it wants us to, like, kill enemies? Because I was trying to think, like, why they would put weak enemies on the Baskar village. Maybe I need... Maybe rest is, like, how many things need to die to unlock it. In which case, bringing him here will not really help us unlock his abilities. So maybe, so maybe what has to happen is see how he has, like, the life medium. He might need to equip each of these because they have an element. And then if he kills with a certain amount of moves, he'll be able to um, use the move. So the question is, do I feel like grinding out his abilities? What was the point of this area? There's nothing to do here. I mean, we fought new enemies, which is neat, but it's not what I was looking for. Hmm. A little disappointing. So I'll remember that this is here, but... We'll keep looking. Oh, I think we're wrapping around the world here. Unfortunate. There's nowhere we can land here, even though it seems like that's where we'll probably land in the future. Interesting. There's the big desert they were talking about before. Oh, I found, I found our way back here. That's not quite what I wanted to do. Interesting. So there's one landing pad. We'll see if there's any others. Probably later on we'll have to fly there and a location will unlock, but we're blind so we're not allowed to go there early, I guess. This is where we were at the beginning of the game. Alright, so let me do something real quick. Let's... Go here. Uh, let's equip him with... Earth. And what we're gonna do is swap them in. And swap everybody else out. Let's test something. So, what what in theory would he learn if we did this? Rock Bolt. Group area attack. So maybe you have to kill 15 enemies or 3 enemies for a basic attack. So doing this now before we potentially lose our party, I think would make sense. Because they, they won't join us in the trial room, so otherwise we'd be stuck with bad healing. 
So let's test our theory out. Because then I would actually use him. And then we can level up his other abilities by just giving him different guardians. Okay, so he's taking no damage, which is good, because we're in the beginning area. I don't think it matters what their XP is. Him giving other people force is more interesting to me than Mystic. Because I think their other abilities are just better than Mystic. Mystic potentially is good for AoE, like, status cleaning and stuff like that. But I'd rather just have those spells instead. Red Butte can now be used. Okay. So it looks like that's how it works. So we have to do X number of kills to gain an ability. So now his combat should go much faster. But I learned fire attack. Oh, did I equip fire instead of earth? Oh, I did. My bad. Mm, that's fine. Alright, so we'll just play with him solo for a little bit. Although taking him to new areas is a little scary. But at least now he could damage things. You know what I mean, chat? Because him trying to bonk things would just feel really terrible. If they are like any difficulty whatsoever. Okay, can we rename his magic? Let's find out. No. Are we really not going to be able to name? That's so sad. Oh, Chad, I want to name more things. I hope she gets spell upgrades or something later. I feel cheated that we can't rename Red Butte. Yeah, that's disappointing. Disappointing, Chad. Well, I guess we'll continue on for now. So we'll try going... I guess east slash west? See if there's anything we missed over here. Otherwise, I'm going to do one more pass through. Yeah, like this seemed like a good area potentially to land in the future. We're slowly learning the map at least. Oh, we can land over here. Okay, this is different. Oh, I'm, like, not lined up with it, apparently. That is more annoying than that seems. How, are... How finicky are you with this? There we go. <laughs> Wait, game, please. There we go. Oh, we can climb up this. Interesting. You watch, I fight some, like, super god enemy and it just one-shots us. Let's see what's here. So anyway, we give him defense up. Let's see how he does here. Heal a monster. Uh, let's use Red Butte. I'll defend. I mean, this just looks exactly like the other spell that we saw. Oh, resistance to it, but he still killed it. Okay. We'll take that. So now the question is, what other fire moves can he learn? I'm assuming an AoE, based off of how he was set up. Yeah, so 11 more kills. Then we could switch which one he uses. So he gets AoE attacks, so I would probably prefer to play with this character over the girl, sadly. Just because AoE is so crucial in saving time. Oh, a location. Wind Tiger's Den. Okay. Sure.
Okay, so we gotta come back here. Win Tiger Den. It's like northwest ish from Chateau. Making a note here, because we're gonna have to come back here. Hey, you guys. So, this is where you were aiming for. Want to hear something good? I don't get it, but inside the cave here, wind blows, then stops. It's as if the wind is the breathing of some large creature. As a result, the upper traps won't release. Give any ideas? Okay. Some strange contraptions keeping the door closed. Hmm. Maybe it's just a timing puzzle with lighting the... Yeah, there we go. So imagine if the gust of wind went by, it would blow out the fire. I miss Ard, not so much Liz. I guess that was sort of clever. There we go. Oh, I didn't get the diagonal. That's unfortunate. Ooh. That was a little rough on the... It's weird doing, like, 360 movements with D-pad. Because keep in mind, I can't move with the control stick. So I was like, ooh, that's awkward. We got through it, though. Oh, I didn't mean to skip encounter there. I actually do want to get in a fight. Okay. Voice from the stone says, I'm Fengalon, the one who can't be controlled by anyone. I'm the guardian of the wind. Fengalon acquired. I'm fed up with being restrained by a medium. I trust my true release to you. So I th think we can learn new skills now. Tempest. Yeah, there we go. Oh no, chat, we can learn Sonic Claw! Hmm. I do want to get into like one or two fights just to see what enemies are here. As we saw before, some areas have some crazy stuff, some are kind of lame. It's a lot of enemies. We'll try blocking. Gargoyle. Fortunately, a lot of these seem like they would be resistant to fire. Not that one, though. <laughs> Chat, you know we're strong when... Zero damage, zero damage. <laughs> oh, it didn't memorize that I had them... Oh, it did, it did. Never mind. I keep forgetting hello is first for some reason. That's fine. So he seems strong enough to one-shot. Statue form. Uh-huh. Okay. No, it doesn't memorize the position. That's unfortunate. Let's hope I get memorized per character. Let's see if this kills him. Nice. Money's decent. We might need that for later. This is much better Japanese to set to see what he's been reduced to. Oof. So I think we're good to go. So we have to come back here when we have the boss symbol. Since we've seen that little contraption before. Well, that reminds me, I haven't even bothered looking at, like, what the actions of these are. Pickpocket, dig out. Pickpocket would be useful, except chat, I'm so scarred from Wild Arms 1, I don't think I want to do that. 
<laughs> I hate it, pickpocket and wild arms one. That was like the worst skill I have ever seen. I'm not, I refuse. Or as they say, I believe, Daga Kotawai. Like, no way, Chad. I'm not doing that. Nice try, though. <laughs> block, block. So I guess we'll slowly teach him new elemental moves. So let's head back to the plot. I think we found everything we could do for now. I didn't see anything when we went in the... Like, we went basically north... We went northeast, and then we arrived from the southeast. We went north to south, I went northwest, and then I also did a little bit of east to west. So I feel like that covers everything. Let's have the game autopilot to the village. As we went around this whole ring, I didn't see anything to land on. At least we know where the desert place is, although I'll probably forget by next session. <laughs> Meanwhile, Klutz is with us this whole time going, Why are we in a giant flying spaceship thing? Poor Klutz. Rip Klutz. Wow, that was a good guess as to where it was. Hidden Trial Arena. Not so hidden now. Hmm. Here's the entrance. Oh, here's the entrance. This is as far as I'm able to guide you. This is the Temple of the Guardians. So this is the Trial Arena for testing the pillar. And... And the chosen candidate is... Low dot dot dots. In the back of the temple is a hall called the Wall. Knights protecting the candidate could go that far. But the other side of the wall. It's just me alone, right? Everyone has times when they're all alone. Just because it's someone you really like doesn't mean you could be together all the time. Even if it's really hard, you'll just want to get through it, okay? You're a guy. You should be more upbeat. I don't know what this test is, but think of it as something positive that gets you ahead. Right? Yes, you're right. If your energy level is up for it, you could do anything. There you go, Chad. You could do anything. It's almost like magic. Don't worry. We'll protect you. It's something I chose to do, so I can't be glum about it. Thank you very much. I'm fine now. Don't worry about me. I'm off now. Is it okay? They're leaving. I heard it's a dangerous place. Maybe I'll never see them again. I'm so spaced. Is it all right for me to stand up? There's no excuse, really. Is there something I should be saying now? Something that'll make them like me? I remember seeing that in a book. I'm just not sure anymore. Wait. There's a field of flowers nearby. It's a beautiful field of flowers no one knows about. Uh-huh. What am I talking about? I'd like to go there. When we get back, I'd like you to show me the flowers. She dot dot dots. Yes. Then I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting right here for you to come back. I'm tempted to never go back. <laughs> right, chat? Very tempted. Hmm. What are you? Subspirit says, I've been waiting for you, so you're the heir. You know... You could get your soul to communicate with the sleeping older ruler guardians. Who are you? Oh, that's right. You find it inconvenient when there's no clear name for an existing being. It's Puka. It's Puka's Puka. What? 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 I don't understand. Among the various subspirits, Puka's special. The sense of self is weak. Hmm. Can't explain it well. In other words... Puka is Puka. There we go, chat. And at the same time, there's something else. Do you understand? Uh... Um... Oh, in other words, it's that, right? I'm sorry, I didn't understand it at all. I've heard of the subspirit Puka. 
because the sense of self is weak by taking on other information matrices. One can copy other forms. Mascot character kill it. That's it. That's exactly what I was trying to say. That one, uh, that one is none other than Puka. Um, I'm hello, but why was the subspirit waiting for me? Puka's role is to guide you under the guardian's direction. Come with us, hello. The guardian, the guardians want you before it's too late. When Puka's power is needed, use square to call him. For places you can't get to, Puka could search it for you. Oh, is he just like the wind mouse from Wild Arms? Is he gonna fly across the arena? I might be in the way, but please let me fight too. Last night I heard from the village chief that I'm a Zoa priest just like my mother. By defeating monsters, I'm able to extract powers from the medium I'm equipped with. Yeah, yeah, we figured that out already. I want to pass the trial. I want to be strong too. So please, give me a chance. Oh. So roots be in place. Interesting. Welcome, Kirk. Okay, we just wanted to see what happened if I tried leaving. I've gone too far to to go back now. I can't quit. Are you gonna call them jerk balls? Yeah, they would have been a good one. There we go. Puka puzzles, chat. Puka puzzles. There's a red chest up there I need to get to at some point. There's been a surprising lack of enemies so far. Another red chest. But I can't... Yeah, let's get into combat on purpose here. I'd like to get the AoE fire attack so we get to start one-shotting encounters. That is a lot of enemies to potentially contend with. spells. Wow, that was so bad. It did one damage to us total. That, oh, that's sad. Oh, chat, that's sad damage. Oh, no. <laughs> right, chat? Oh, no. Oh, they're so done. Fireball, chat. Grab is here. Fireball. Exactly. Hmm. I think I'm doing okay, Kirk. I just feel tired from the weekend. Probably rest after the stream. Although I'm contemplating if I want to do a bonus stream. I guess it depends on how long it takes to clear this dungeon. We switch over to something like PSO. Goodbye, bug boss thing. That's a lot of money. Alright, so this area is definitely better for clears so far. I just wish we had our AoE ability. It would speed the fight up like nearly instantly. I didn't see any way to do anything up there yet. I'm assuming at some point I'm basically going to go on this pillar. And then I can use Puka to grab the chest. I'm assuming that's what's going to happen in the future. Oh, I got turned around. My bad. The downside of moving the camera and then having battles in between. You forget what the camera was originally. So imagine this will crumble if I touch it. No? Never mind. Not what I thought that was gonna do, but that's fine. Yeah, I don't wanna avoid encounters until this character has all their abilities. Okay, here we go. Press acquired. Crest acquired, which is unfortunate because she doesn't have any spells that I'm looking for. We got all of the good ones out of the way. I want to give chat the more powerful spell choices. 
Oh, I can't grab it from down from there. That's unfortunate. Also, I canceled an encounter. It's unfortunate. I don't want to. We should be unlocking the AoE fire spell. Once we have that, combat is literally going to be a one-button clear. What are you? Raphalesia? I see the flower thing in its stomach. I'll do some normal attacks. This looks a little tankier than normal monsters. If its weakness is fire, this might kill it instantly. We'll see. Nice. It is. It's glorious. Fireball paying off so far. Out of curiosity, how many more things do I have to kill? Just two. Alright, uh, that's not too far. So one more battle, we get our AoE, and then we can switch our thing. We have a lot of moving platforms. Presumably at some point, I'm gonna need to stand on one while Puka hits the switch for another. So let's see what this does first. Because it can only go so far, but what I could probably do something like this. Will this work? No. So then maybe I could do it from here to give myself more time. Oh, come on. That was so close. Barely got past that. Ooh, if I mistimed that, I'd have to do the whole puzzle again. We got lucky on that one, chat. I was taking my time. Uh, let's see. One more fight, please. Preferably with two enemies or more. Pretty please. It's one of the few times I actually want to go there. Oh, there's two choices. Let's take the closer door. Yeah, that would have been really unfortunate if I had to loop around again. Oh, a single enemy. That's not what I want. We'll do normal melee into this. Hopefully critical doesn't kill here. That would actually make me very sad. Okay, I did one shot, so that's fine. So we are getting some use out of our critical skill at least. So one more kill. And then we will have AoE fireball and then I think the game is over. Interesting. Mini carrot. Mini carrot. I guess they're really concerned I'm gonna run out of- Oh yeah, I guess mini carrots had horse gauge now instead of the other thing, right? Yeah. Is that that was the uh, MP item from before? I didn't really think about that until I realized that V was gone. Oh, are we seriously here already? That sucks. I feel like I've been pierced. It feels as if all the wheels here are on the grounds on the grounds are gathering. Do you feel it? Those are the vibrations of the guardians. The wheels turn into vibrations, searching for powerful shapes. This is one of the trials too. Bad senses can't feel the hostility in these vibrations. But watch out! They're testing us. Oh, that's awkward. I'm gonna get into a boss fight before I got my AoE. I only have one spell type, so this is kind of unfortunate. Hopefully it's weak to fire, right chat? Oh, that's a monster. Compound plant monster, Regulus. Oh. Oh, I got really lucky then. So, unfortunately I don't have any healing spells. So I'm just going to have to be really aggressive here. Nice, landed the bolt action for max damage. Ooh, big damage. Wormy weed extract. 
think it's basically dead. I, I have, I fortunately have its weakness. I'll play it safe here, because I'm going to lock on here for big damage. If we're lucky, we'll kill it with fire. So next turn, I'm just going to have him attack. I imagine the boss is close to dead already. This boss is about to get nuked, chat. Give it a salute. The bazooka's coming. And it's over. Absolutely wrecked. 2,000 experience, 2,000 money. Vicky hit level 2. Okay, so if characters not in our party still get XP. That's good. What was that trial? Was that the trial? Already? That monster was a guardian? That wasn't a guardian. Phil ruled as the Phil Gaia, the first guardian, had absolutely no power in the physical world. Then what was that just now? Even we were attacked by it. It was probably just testing. Not only the pillar, but also the strength of the knights protecting the pillar. You've driven it away. The trial. No, it doesn't look like it's over yet. There's a voice calling to me. In order for me to become the pillar, I guess I have to go even further. Guardians having no power, that sounds accurate. Okay, we just just one battle, right chat? Just one more battle. Come on, give me AoE fire before the team leaves. Please? One of the few times I actually want a massive amount of encounters, I don't get them. It's just so sad. Because once we get that, then we can start focusing on other damage. He was not fit to be the pillar shall not pass. The heir to the pillar will take the test alone. Can I please get AoE magic before we do the test? Please. I've been I've been purposely not skipping encounters. Come on. One more. I needed to kill literally Is one enemy. And then we can learn other abilities. Thank you. We need a backup in case they're immune to fire. That's what I'm also worried about. Yeah, this is fine. Do something like this. It only needs one more kill. I'll weaken this thing up. Or kill it. It doesn't really matter. They are Terrace Pharma. Nice. We learned Impum Hit. Now we can give him something else to learn. I could teach him the healing magic one, which would make him very broken for normal combat, but we're going to worry about that later. He doesn't need that while he's alone. Let's give him... Dig out. Just unequip hers, because she's kind of irrelevant now, and be real with you. So we can learn Analyze slash Water. So I can learn enemy weaknesses, I guess, if I want to. So pretty much all of these are super good to learn. So this should mean we go first. So it should just be an auto win for the rest of the encounters, right? Ooh, it needs 50 FP though. Ooh, that's kind of brutal. Hmm. Alright, maybe it's not an instant win. <laughs> I mean, if we hit level 50, he's basically done. I think we could all agree, chat. Then I AoE clear. Okay, they did nerf the AoE clear. If I get hard targeted, he could end up with the AoE to end stuff faster, maybe. Oh well. 40 would have been more manageable. 50 I think is out of our range for now. The wall must start here. What waits on the other side is... My trial. Yes. The ability to materialize the powers of the Guardians, which are now only consciousness. For your trial, you must get the hold of the Combine with Puka. Puka and I... Didn't I say it at the start? I said go together. Hello and Puka must be together at all times. I want everyone to hand over their mediums. The medium is the petrified version of the Guardian's information matrix. For the combine, it's essential to have a medium. Rip our mediums. Combine? So this is the other power concealed to the medium which Mom told me about. Go, hello. 
So imagine we could just unleash it. Puzzle Central. Oh, almost got through that. Almost. Almost, chat. So I do gotta stop on at least one of them, sadly. That's fun. I'll stop too shy then. So we could go across two, but then I need to stop on the third. That's fair. Oh, hey, he slid. He slid that time. That wasn't fair. I let go of the run button. Him, please. Oh, wait, is there no other? Wait, do I have to do that in one shot? Uh oh. Rog, indeed. That's kind of annoying. So what I could do... I could just move up one set and then wait, which it, it's kind of annoying that we have to do that. Because that way I'll be able to make the final set. <laughs> right, chat? That's... That's annoying. So we'll do the same thing again. Thou must use Puka. There we go. So, so far, no battles. I feel like we're overdue for a solo battle at some point with the boss. Ooh, that's... Barely in range. Oh, but that hits the next one. Oh, that's really unfortunate, actually. Never mind. Yeah, we're getting there. Oh, you can make him scoot around by holding the action button. Interesting. I don't think that really helps me that much. It doesn't seem that much faster. And it also locks in my position. Alright. Fortunately, we were able to skip that one at least. Hmm. I can't hit that from up here. I think I have to drop down. Fortunate. Before I touch this, is there anything I'm going to get from over here? That's the question. Uh... Okay, good. Another crest acquired. They're really making sure. Well, well, I guess I guess we found out where all the crests were, chat. They're all just in one dungeon, apparently. Just get four of them all at once. That's fair. We get like one a dungeon, four a dungeon. Now Puka's following us full time. So learning more elements will keep us pretty covered, I think. Okay, so let's see what we gotta do. I imagine we probably need to stand on this. Or be close enough that I can get across. I'm gonna run diagonal, for example. Ooh, there we go. Hmm. I'm just looking for hidden hidden doorways because it's kind of hard to see through these fillers. Probably should have made them transparent. Oh, we're at the end already. This light, the medium Odoryuk is shining again. Listen to the light. Hello, you can do it. You are the air.
It's real. I hear a voice. You're the one who's turned our will into power. You, designated as heir. State your name. Hello. My name is Hello Rhymeless. <laughs> that is a last name. Your blood becomes my will. Your flesh becomes my power. Hmm. My blood, flesh, when the world. Hmm. You, burdened with the fate of death, go forth and overcome it. Somehow, hello wasn't his worst name exactly. The ending trial has awakened us. Transforming Ninja Monster, Gehanna Neros. Ninja Monster chat, there you go. Release, release all the force you've saved up until level two. Information matrix of the medium will let Puka change into a powerful shape. Users force and Puka's ability to transform, release together, form a combine. First, take the guardians who have offensive abilities like Rudiaf. Equip them in the guard slot. Puka and Hello can put in motion a combine. Just leap over any trial that's in the way. That's allegedly a ninja. What happens if I just ignore him? Curious. Bonk, bonk, bonk. <laughs> right, chat? Oh, and he's weak to fire? Oh, yo, he's duping? Oh, dupe all you want. Let's go. Bonk, bonk, bonk. <laughs> Right, chat? How much damage do they do? Is this gonna be a problem for us? That's not a lot of damage. Oh, sleep is a problem, though. Sleep is actually a big problem. We will equip something to get rid of that if we can. Oh, we got put to sleep. Oh, we don't have anything that makes us immune to it. That is actually kind of annoying. Um... Yes, disease would be the next annoy ne most annoying thing. Kill? Healed itself for zero. Congratulations. I... Okay, that's really annoying that it has something that puts me to sleep. Sure. Can I please wake up? Thank you. We'll burn him. Bonk, bonk, bonk. <laughs> right, chat? Got him. Okay, so I think it wants us to use combine to end the battle. But I'm gonna be honest with you, chat. Bonk, bonk, bonk is funnier. <laughs> right, chat? Like, okay. Lullaby is the worst. That thing is actually a time waster. Good thing it missed. Is he healing himself? For how much? Well, that's not a lot. So we're slowly building up our meter while getting potentially bonus kills here. That would have killed, I think, normally. It feels like he only has about 3,000 health. I don't know if it's like 2,800 or literally 3,000. It's not much. So we'll let him build our meter by him attacking us. I'm curious how much XP these things are worth. So we unlocked a new ability, Sonic Claw. I mean, I know this thing's the weakness, so I'm just gonna keep abusing it, right chat? Like, okay, I don't mind learning new abilities off of this. In a way, it helps me just kind of unlock abilities. In fact, I could just farm him for like five, <laughs> for like five minutes. <laughs> I mean, is there a downside to doing this? I just learned all my techniques. Right, chat? 
And this might give boss level XP, by the way, which would very much break the game if this gives boss XP. Because I'm imagining it's literally a clone, so it would give as much XP as the boss would normally give. Well, chat, time to test that theory out as we unlock abilities. So I'm going to go until we at least unlock Sonic Claw. So I think they're doing this so that you purposely can't end the fight early, which is a good sign, because that just means I could just upgrade our abilities. This saves me from having to do random encounters and waiting for them to do other things. I'll heal if I get close to 500 health. But right now, they're really not doing that much. So yeah, I think they may be literally 3,000 health. We almost have enough for combine. <laughs> right, Chad? I mean, I'm not gonna melee. Why would I do that? You replicate all you want, right, Chad? Go ahead. <laughs> What are they going to do when I put on my tankier thing? Can they even hurt me if I do that? Lullaby's fine. I've been the bonked. So yeah, I mean, I'm just going to farm them for a little bit, chat. <laughs> I mean, if, they, if all they want to do is replicate, I don't have to walk around in the overworld. These enemies don't do a lot of damage. I'm potentially getting a stupid amount of money in gold, by the way. So this potentially will break the game, and that's fine. I mean, I think Chad is okay with me just <laughs> hard grinding on this boss. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, what happens when I just get AoE Fireball? Could I cheat? Could I break the game? If I injure both of them, could I actually cause the game over? I'm, I'll do a save state. I don't like to save state when I play games, but I'm curious if I wound both of them, can I do my AoE Fireball and break the game and win the battle without ever using Combine? I think that's worth trying. I think chat would agree. Wouldn't it be funny if I just hard broke the game? So if I fireball both of them, and then I get them low enough, I might be able to AoE fireball assuming it does more damage than 1500. If it only does 1500, I don't think I could do it since they tend to heal. Like one is always heal spamming, it seems, and the other is aggressive. So they try not to let you softlock yourself here. But welcome, Dango. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, see how he's always heal spamming? I think this is their way of intending for you to not break it. But I think I can win this battle without ever using Combine. I'm curious what happens. But as I said before, I'm going to save state. Because when you purposely try to break a game, you know, and the, like, the game does like soft locks or something, we need to be able to go back to something at least. So they're only healing 400 at a time. So, if, because of the fact that they're not full healing, this means that if I do, like, 1400, let him heal, then do 1400 again, he should live. So as long as I injure both of them a little bit, like, I can alternate who takes damage, and both of them should live, and that should softlock the game, potentially. <laughs> right, chat? Question mark. Or we beat the battle without ever using the intended mechanic, which is very on par for us. I'm also surprised we have not learned uh, the other ability yet, because we've killed a lot of enemies here. Because every time we kill this replicate of the boss, it seems like it does give us the abilities. Okay, I'm almost at the point where I might consider healing. His lullaby is very annoying. I can end up getting like 200 damage. I wish we had an anti-lullaby thing on.
Lullaby will also stop us from getting a nice kill combo, sadly. Will we take poison damage with Lullaby? Why do we take damage over time with Lullaby? That's stupid. I just noticed we did take another 72 just then. Oh yeah, we're definitely healing after this then. Sorry about this chat. They are hard stall camping us, of course. Heal berry time. Right, we're we're out of threat range again. I guess the question is, chat, what level do you think we're going to end at? I think we're at 19 currently. And I I think this will give us boss XP every time we get a kill here. As you can see, we've been killing them for a while. Given that we've almost unlocked our super ability. So this should... This kill may give us the Guardian? Oh, not quite. As I said before, I want to get to the point where we get the other one. I wish I could see how far away we were. <laughs> Scam. Welcome, RJ Chaos. Hope you're doing well. I mean, either way, I'm happy with this, because it, it still lets me unlock moves, which which is what I want to do. So that way I have two options on boss fights going forward. Then once I unlock AoE heal, I think it's over. The, the game has been solved. So as I said before, I'm going to keep going until we unlock the other ability, and then we'll move on. I'd like to just have my options on the table. Then we can spend the rest of the game getting the other abilities, which I'm okay with. Man, we have not dodged a single lullaby. That thing is like 100% accuracy on us, kind of insane. Because that does drain our health. That's like the only threatening move that they have. Extra crispy indeed. So I guess if we can hit both of them with a the single fireball, we will check to see how much damage we do with the AoE Fireball, because we have enough FP to use it now, by the way. I mean, I might as well see how much it does. Although I want to save here. Hold on. In case I accidentally kill them here, I'm just going to do a, a safety save. Let's see how much damage they take here. Ooh. <gasps> Ooh. Yeah, we can definitely soft lock with that chat. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. We, now we could go even faster. Go ahead. I just kill you and then we set the cycle there. Oh, this is so good. Hold on, chat. We're speeding it up. Yeah, that damage is actually significant, by the way, chat, for those that haven't seen it before. So now we could just alternate big flames, right? And this should always kill one of them. Oh, now, now we're hardcore farming. Hell yeah, chat. Yup, and you have to replicate, right? Yeah, there we go. You're not getting a turn ever again. You're in my world now. <laughs> it's over, chat. Boss solved. Holy. <laughs> oh, this is, this is going to be some stupid XP, chat. Or it's going to be some stupid ability unlock. Look at this. Actually ridiculous. Oh, we still haven't got the other wind ability yet? Seriously? Oh well. And then all we need to do is injure the other one. Tempest could be used. Nice. Okay. So we know the one on the right could be injured. So if I hit the other one with the single use, we could do that. What do you think, chat? Should I just go for the soft lock? See what happens? I mean, we still have water to learn as well. Why not? Might as well get a couple of these out. I mean, how often am I going to be able to do this AoE spam? This is so powerful. Go for it. 
We'll, we'll unlock the basic spell first. That way that saves me time in the future. Because even if he heals, he puts himself at 1400 and he dies next turn regardless. Let's see what happens. Let's unlock the basic wind or other ability first. So that way we don't tie up the thing as often. Given that now we only have to use one spell, like this has to be the fastest unlock you could get in the game. All right, so we'll go for the soft lock then. Water gun. I mean, how often is he going to be able to do this? Oh, sorry, I lost which track was which. Hold on. I have to pay attention to which one dies here. Which one dies? One on the left died. Okay, so if I hit the one on the left with a single hit here, that should be good. So yeah, we've basically freed up several of these. I'm going to do a safety save state. So we're going to set up to see what happens if the game lets me do this or not. Let's find out. Or is he going to lullaby me? So now we're going to do the AoE attack and both of them will die here no matter what. Even if he heals here, it doesn't matter. I out damage this. Doesn't matter. I do over 2000 damage. Does not matter. They should both just die to this then. Let's see what happens. Okay, we cheese the boss fight. We're, we're not supposed to do that, by the way. <laughs> That's hilarious. 40,000 experience! <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> we're going back to this. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, uh, we're going to do that one. Hold on, chat. <laughs> we're we're going to keep leveling. That XP was done. Okay, we're gonna make sure we're gonna put them in the loop again. <laughs> I found my exploitable XP. We're going forward. <laughs> there we go. Now we don't have to do any fights ever again. Oh, one of them survived. That's annoying. Alright, so I gotta hit one of them with a single use. So there we go. We still haven't beaten it. Well, maybe we'll beat it the way the game intends. I'm just curious. See it in an hour. I want to unlock all my abilities since I'm here, since this is clearly the fastest way we could ever unlock this. I literally have infinitely duplicating enemies, and I have an AoE. It's so over. I could try Tempest at some point. Does that mean it takes 15 moves in order to unlock? That's like no time at all. So yeah, th this will probably be our final thing. I mean, we're not going to top near infinite XP and money. I could basically full upgrade one of the arms now if I want to. Oh, they should not have allowed me to do this, chat. That was a mistake. So I think that is... I think it's about... If I've been counting correctly, maybe we've killed about 20 enemies. So maybe it's about 2,000 per. The Rocko Box are under Wild Arms too, pretty much. Because now we just get... So every time I do that, I get 2,000 XP, 2,000 money. And you can see it's it's just going so fast now. Like, the XP and money per second are uncontestable. I don't even think late game XP money will contest this for a long time. <laughs> Rocko Boxstorm, what do you think RBR stands for? True. So once we get the other ability, we might as well as unlock it. Well, Hello is about to become ultra power leveled. I wonder what that does to the XP of the other party, or if they're going to remain the current XP. Because that would be pretty funny, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, this this is what we call a mistake. <laughs> they should not have let me do this. I guess they assumed you wouldn't have unlocked an AoE ability. Maybe that's what their thought process was. I mean, it's very sweet and innocent of them to think I wouldn't abuse the game like this. Well, anyway, we should be unlocking Water Gun, and then I think we have only one other thing to unlock. Then we'll move on. That way it doesn't- I don't have to worry about, like, last hitting and wasting time later. We're just doing it efficiently here. Because they basically don't even get long animations either. Like, we don't have to see, like, long fire breath attacks or anything. Oh, we got other stuff to unlock. We gotta unlock the healing after this. Okay, so we unlock the super water move. Uh, let's see. And Earth. Oh, did I get Earth? I don't think I did, right? 
Oh, I didn't unlock Earth yet. Oh, well. <laughs> Sucks to be them. So 15 more of these and we should be done with that. Then I think five. So we gotta kill 20 more enemies. That's fine. That's potentially another 40,000. You can say goodbye to the game difficulty chat. We're, we're gonna absolutely steam. If we do not steamroll the rest of the game, aside from maybe bonus bosses, I would be very surprised. This character will probably be so tanky for so long. No one will contest his XP. Nice. This is, this is so brutal. <laughs> They're literally not even getting turns anymore. Maybe to show off, we'll try the other spells once we've unlocked everything. I mean, there's no point to not at least show them off. We've learned them all. The basic spells we'd hold on to for later. But yes, that's basically 2,000 XP, 2,000 money every time. Goodbye. Seems like a random number. Not really. We were killing pretty slowly. And we only unlocked a 15 use one and a three hit one prior to the point where we ended it. I think that's about right. And even if it isn't, it's still fine because I'm going to be gaining so much kill XP here, which is more important to me. So I'm saving a lot of late game stuff for unlocks if I want a full unlock. So if we do get more elements, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I love the fact that if we never use FP, our gauge never goes down. That that does soften my opinion towards the system a little bit more, for sure. And it's only due to things like using our force gauge for lock-on that it goes down. So that does kind of make the force gauge stuff bad, because you can see what happens when you do a force gauge and choose not to blow it. You just spam this all day long and they can't do anything. Yeah, the only thing I have to pay attention to do is which which is the real one when we want to break the loop. So they they tried to stop me from doing this, but the fact that they didn't full heal means that uh, that was their mistake. Is getting up to three thousand damage would require too much of a grind for me to realistically achieve. See, so yeah, after that we just have five uses I think for super heal, and we're good for the rest of the game. I imagine the cap will probably be like 999 for sure. I don't imagine it would cap at 40,000. How's it going, chat? <laughs> Shout out for PSO when we're done with this. We're not topping this. I'm just letting you know. There's no point to even doing more dungeon stuff once we do whatever story's here. Yeah, replicate all you want. It won't matter. I'll probably organize it. There we go. We learned Gravitron. I'll probably organize it so that simple texts are first and then more advanced texts are lower in the list. But since we're learning them all at once, it keeps alternating. Uh, let's go to our bag. Uh, I think only... Yeah, we have water, fire, earth, wind. Let's do life. I mean, I could pickpocket them as a joke. I, I don't think it really matters. Oh, should that be a Twitch poll, whether or not you think they cap the XP? Maybe we should do that. Make a prediction, chat. Let's see. Did they cap XP slash Jella above 40k? Let's make that the prediction. We'll give you, let's say, five minutes. That should be good. Enjoy predicting. Like XP gain cap or level cap? 40k XP. That's what it was when we last killed them. Will it be higher or is the cap there? Get rid of these. <laughs> I feel like, oh, there we go. Some competitive betting going on. 
But I want to unlock these. We're, we have at least like four minutes or so. Making it even. Oh boy. First aid can be used. Okay. That did not take as long as I thought it would. Let's try showing off the other spells while chat bets. See if they take bonus damage from wind. They do. Okay, let's try... Submerge. Okay, they're weak to that as well. So we'll be closing the poll shortly. Try Gravitron next. I think they're just weak to all magic, yeah. There's nothing I've used that they're not weak to. So we'll, we'll go for the kill here in a moment. I could first aid everybody, which is... Being level 24 is not that hard to do, so we're gonna have full a HP restore after this going forward. So we'll do a couple more, give chat a last chance to bet. I'll be closing the poll in 15 seconds. I figured a minute wasn't long enough to bet, but five... But yeah, I wanted something closer to three minutes. We'll do a couple more. So we'll say 10, 9... Eight. Hello should be renamed to goodbye with how much they kill people, maybe. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, I'm closing the poll. Or it won't let me close the poll in OBS. Thanks, OBS. All right, we'll let it time out then. We got some time. Give me one moment. Oh, my other thing should be able to stop it. Let's end submissions. <laughs> OBS doesn't understand how to do it, but Twitch does, fortunately. All right, so let's see. I got to kill them one more time because I lost track of who was the real one. Who's the real one? One on the right has more damage, so I gotta single hit the one on the left, and then we'll see how much we get. Uh, we'll do Rock Bolt, why not? Neither is the real one, but yeah, they're gonna be gone in a moment. Bonk, 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 bonk. So as long as they don't Nightmare here, we're fine. If they Nightmare, they waste all of our time. Oh, they both went up in melee? GG. It's a moment of truth, chat. Let's save. And then I guess I just... I kind of like the one where they twirled. That feels like an embarrassing death. We. Outplayed. <laughs> How much XP are we getting? Spin, spin! Spin, spin. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no, chat! There's not a cap! Oh no! Oh no! I mean, how bad do I break this? What? I mean... Do, do I just keep going? I think I just keep going. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute! Oh, <laughs> uh, let's, let's keep going for a little bit then. A little more. <laughs> Might as well as become God. It's fine. We'll, we'll even out the number a little bit more. Get below in one battle. I mean, I think it's doable. <laughs> we'll, we'll do a couple here. How's this chat? We'll go through one more rotation. I won't grind too much more. But I think it's safe to say this character is done. Oh, Gravitron is really fast compared to the others. Let's do... Let's say four more Gravitrons because it's funny. But yeah, I think we're set for the rest of the game. Can we all agree? We're good? This money should cover everything I ever want in the shops. Oh, turn undead! I didn't actually learn all my abilities. Oops. Wait, how many more abilities are there? 
Turns undead with light, single. Oops. I apparently did forget it, so it's good we did that again, I guess. Well, now I think we officially learned everything. Hello, it's secretly the final boss of the game and you make the fight harder by grinding. That would be ridiculous. I don't even care what level our party members come in at. I'll be like, they can take the HP loss. We're good. We cheese the game so hard prior to that point, it's fine. All right, so the real one's on the left. Let's weaken him a little. Rock to the face. Okay, now we've learned all of our techniques. <laughs> Holy. They better heal each other. You're in danger. Right, chat? You're in big danger. Go ahead, heal. I don't care. Double pill. What was the intended mechanic of this? We had a combined move, right? Discovers items on the battlefield? I mean, I feel like disrespecting them. Hold on a second. Happy acorn acquired. That was disrespectful. <laughs> right, chat? That was actually genuinely disrespectful. <laughs> just, just like, hold on. Oh, hold on. Can I pickpocket them? One second. <laughs> just... They're not even a fight to me anymore. Let's just pickpocket. Why not? Yeah, this feels like a huge oversight. Sure. Let's see what you got. Do you have items? Pickpocket failed. Oh, something's never changed. Oh, hey, Pickpocket, that was your one time to shine. I don't think I care anymore. We tried. I gave Pickpocket its one use in the game. Let's reset them, because I, I wasn't keeping track of their HP. Uh, so let, what is the intended way to clear this? I do this, and then I combine. Let's see what this actually does. Molecular break. Okay. There you go. Ooh, that must really suck holding on to things. Falls that long. How much damage is this going to do, by the way? Okay, enough to one shot. There we go. See, see, we're 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 de see, we're definitely beating the way the game was intended, to <laughs> ending at 128,000 money in gold, <laughs> level 29. <laughs> Godlike. I think he's good, chat. I think he's our now best character in the game. Thou has evaded our illusions. It is the power of the air. <laughs> yes, evaded them. Hello, you cheated death. Oh, that's not all we cheated. The proof is here. Thou art the heir. By releasing us, the pillar becomes an offering proper and soundly, very soundly. We await thy next pillar. An eclipse will fill Felgaia's sky. Thou wilt stand at the sacrificial alt- Wait, sacrificial altar? Get out of here to deter the menace. Worst combine acquired. Did I pass the trial? Yes, hello. You, you passed it. Keep in mind now, chat, we, we have 26 or 29 uh, force points, meaning we have full access to AoE heal every turn now. This game is done. <laughs> I actually passed the trial, didn't I? I can't believe it. Yeah, I can't believe they didn't put a cap on that either. Better believe it. Make no mistake, your power of belief guided reality. You realize truth. I passed the trial. It's like a dream. Oh, it's a dream. But I'm so happy, my heart's pounding. <laughs> Did I win? There's just like, exactly. There's just mountains of dead, dead enemies. Even Puka's excited. It's as if Puka caught Hello's excitement. I'm so excited. I want to hurry and get back to the others. I want the others to feel my excitement. Hello, Puka. I'm so glad you're safe. We were all nervous waiting here. We kept hearing fireball repeatedly in the distance. So you passed the trial to become the heir. Yes, it seems I passed, but it still doesn't feel real. My pounding heart is the only thing that feels different. Oh, actually, chat. Here's the question. What do you think our HP total is going to be? I'm going to say whoever gets it closest, we're going to give uh, Ziggledees. Since that, that one's hard to do. Lock it in, chat. What do you think? <laughs> Name a number. 
we were at, I think, 1,000 HP earlier, but we also got, I think, 10 levels plus HP up. So we started at 1,000. We haven't really leveled to see how much we get per level, so it is sheer guess as of this point. 3,200? Hmm, maybe. You did well, hello. I'm getting excited now, too. Boy, this excitement really is catching. Yep, sure seems that way. It's time to give you the powers Hello got by passing the trial. Part of the power is sustaining Philgaia, the Guardian's power, to be realized through Puka. This is the Combine. For the Combine, everyone's force is needed. It's a joint effort which, using our force, allows Puka to duplicate the Guardian's shape and abilities. So, we need to remember that this trick can be used only when Puka's with us. Force combine acquired. Okay, so everybody got it. So chat has a little bit of time before I'll close off the bets. So we have two bets. I think we'll just give... We'll give an absurd amount of points. Whoever's close, we'll do ten times whatever the real total is. <laughs> just add a zero at the end. Klutz. Hello. It's over. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely over. <laughs> Can you imagine if I hit level 50 that way? I would literally just end the game, right? What would the enemies do? I'd start every battle with AoE spells. Wow. I think it would just be over. It's really amazing. I understand why you'd want to show someone. Yep. Dot, 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 dot. But I haven't shown anyone yet. Huh? You are the first. You took the test for me, right? That's not true. Should have grinded all the way 24 hour ninja killing stream. Technically, I save stated, so I could go back to that whenever I want. <laughs> hello. Uh oh, hello says that's not true. Do you think so? You dot dot dots. <gasps> Wait, chat. I realized what I should have done. Does chat realize what I should have done? Hold on. We'll we'll finish the cutscene and go back. We'll finish the cutscene. I realize I realize there's something I could do to make that more broken. <laughs> That's why I wanted to show you the thing most important to me. Because flowers are the prettiest in that moment. Thank you. I wish the flowers would stay pretty like this forever and ever. I wish it could always be like this forever and ever. Yep. There's an item I haven't used this entire game that I can now use. So we're going to get to the point where the plot is done, and then we're, we're going to go fix it. You did it, hello. You were accepted as Pillar. I knew that any child of Sabrina's could do it. I'm sure she'd be happy. You should be proud. Plus dot dot dots. Hello, you did well. This is a gift from all of us. Except as a token of appreciation. Heal berry times 10 acquired. Big berry times 3 acquired. Mega berry acquired. I'm sure the trial's exhausted you. Take a well-earned rest. Okay, where is the plot ending? I just need to know where the plot ends and we're all good. I survived the trial. I have the power to call the guardians. <laughs> I'm so excited I can't sleep. So I might have to redo the turn undead because I don't remember if I saved state right before clearing it. The ceremony went according to plan. That means we have a new pillar. Just as we foresaw, it had to be someone of Sabrina's blood. At last, we have the pillar. Safe keeping the power of the Guardians. Because today we again have the pillar. The world will be safe no matter what the vision meant. Pillar? Sacrifice? What are they talking about? It all started the day Sabrina ran away from the village so her son wouldn't become pillar. For ten long years since then, we have scoured Filgaia for that boy. But now, it is over. The life of Hello is in hand, and with it, Filgaia will be protected. A life whose purpose is to die. Die? Me? I don't understand. Didn't you know? Today your life was offered to the Guardians as Pillar. That's strange. Didn't you know all this before going to the Trial Arena? The trial to become Pillar is to give your life up to the Guardians. Die? Me? It can't be! 
No, I'm scared. I don't want to die. How can they all be so casual about it? Who is it? Who's there? Hello, were you listening? Am I to die then? Do I really have to die? He dot dot dots. Yes, hello. You must accept your destiny as Pilla, as the sacrifice. If you don't, the world will pay a terrible price. There are people you want to protect in this world, right? This is the only way. There are times when someone must be sacrificed. Please understand, hello. You have to die for Phil Gaia. I have a family. The world can't perish or else. I'm begging you. Please die. Little hello, we need your life. Give it to us or Phil Gaia dies. Please die. You must die. Ah! You must give your life for all of our sakes. You will die. Die! Die. Maybe I should have named him Die. <laughs> I just want to. I just want to see his stats. Don't you dare tease me by not letting me see his stats. Don't you dare tease me, right, chat? Don't you do it. What in the world? How can he sacrifice a child? I won't let you get away with this. Calm down, Bashley. How do you expect me to? Don't you care about life at all? Yes, life. With Hello's one life, the lives of everyone in Filgaya will be saved. There's nothing else to do. Man, we are getting railroaded so hard in this cutscene. The ends are worth such a sacrifice. Do you mean the ends justify the means? Is, is that what you meant to say? But that's... that's just like Odessa. He dot dot dots. Our only choice is to make Pillar... Klutz a new Pillar, a new Guardian. How will that solve anything? What? Number two bulkhead has been breached. Someone is invading Valeria Chateau. Don't look at me. It's them. The Chateau's hull is made of a specially refined ally called De La Metallica. <laughs> That's quite a name. If someone has broken through a bulkhead, it is coming this way. Now conducting magnetic resonance scan of the interior. As you can tell, maybe you should think about escaping. I can't believe it. Are you really not going to let us see the stats? If this continues, Baskar Village could be harmed too. Ascend to an elevation at 1800. We'll shut the invaders in. We're going to. Really? You're really not going to let me see the stats on this character? Really? Oh, come on. Can we? Okay. Let's do it. Let's do a little in-game save briefly. I know. Can we go find him at least? Now I'm going to play the plot up until a certain point, and then we'll take a break. So we're going to save over the save file. We have a hilarious amount of money, but the game is over. I have so much cash. I think I just max everything. Where is the other character? If we could find him and put him in our party, he better not get kidnapped. Because I'll be like, there's no way they're kidnapping him. He's actual god tier. <laughs> like, not an exaggeration. This character is unkillable. Okay, so he's not in the library slash the main room. So let's just see if we find him, and then we'll take a break once we get back to this point. We've captured the invaders. A man and a woman. They are the enemies. Where should we begin our fun? They aren't fools. They'll be coming any second. I'll search for the pillar, boy. You handle everything else. Jupdeca. What? Don't kill too many. I hate needless killing. I know, I know. Just confuse them. We're after the pillar, boy. Remember, just confuse them. Something's happened. I'm starting to doubt the safety of the ship. In my humble opinion, we stumbled into a war zone. It's about to stumble into us. What is that? I can't believe we're in this mess. In my humble opinion, I wish I hadn't come. They're after Hello's power. Let's hurry. On orders of Lord Vinsfield, we will take the pillar boy. Oh, is this going into a boss fight? If this is going into a boss fight, we'll reset. 
All right, we'll, we'll save this for later. Hold on, chat. I got something I want to do. One moment. Do we have the other ability? I don't think we do. All right, so we just got to grab... Actually, I think I messed that up. Let's redo this a couple times. I'm going to tell you why I want to redo it briefly, and then we'll go back to that save point and deal with that later. Okay, that's where I thought we were. So let's load again one more time. What I'm going to do, I'm going to desync them. We're going to do exactly what we did before. I'm going to unlock until we get the undead move. Then we're going to use a special item, and then we'll save at that save point. And we'll pause for there. I will write down how much people were betting, though. Actually, we should make a new bet. I take that back. Let's make a new bet, chat. Keep your keep your health totals in mind. If you bet now, I'll, I'll still award you later in the future. The reason I want to do this, chat, we have something that doubles our XP and money. By the way, I should have used that. So I'm like, wait a minute, let's just go back. So I think I did like two more after this. I did not mean to do that, but that's fine. 4,500, maybe. Yeah, I'm sure our health total is about to be something real stupid. It'll probably break the rest of the game because the, the, if they take our highest level party member, it's gonna be funny. If they base it off of the protagonist, then we're fine. But I'm gonna see how bad we can break the game. So we'll do a couple more of these. I'll let chat decide. How many do you think I should use in a row here before we do the final thing and we save at that save? Like, we gotta do at least a couple more. So now, chat, we're gonna test two things. Do guild cards stack? How much XP can we get in theory? What is the highest level we could attain from this? Because hitting like level 40 might not be like that outlandish, to be honest. So let's see. Let's have chat agree on how many more I should do. What do you think? 5, 10, 15? We'll squeeze out a little more just to make sure we never have to farm ever again. Literally an entire session's worth of farm right here. And if we can double the double, I don't even think I need to do more. So if I don't hear anything, I'll end it in three. Let's do one more. Then I gotta go for the card. There we go. So I think we definitely have more than we did last time. Just to even it out a little bit. So we'll say two more then. To make up for that other cutscene. And then we're gonna save state right as we go to do it. Since I wanna I wanna see what the difference is. Hello, we'll carry the rest of the party. He's definitely bankrolled our party. Alright, that's that'll be the last one. I think we got a good enough base if we could double the doubles. That's probably good enough. Alright, so now what we're gonna do. I'm gonna kill so that and pay attention to which one lives. I forgot which one it was. Which one is which one is gonna be at full health? That's all I need to know. The one on the right will be at full health. Okay. So let's at least use one item here. And then I'm gonna try something after this. So let's go to our item bag. Use it. So now the game is broken. <laughs> More so than before. So we healed. We're gonna do a save state here. Because I don't know if this will stack. So we're gonna use it again. If it's only about 20 hundred something and not 40 hundred something, that's how we know it didn't duplicate properly. And then we could just combine attack. Actually, I just realized I could just combine attack. It doesn't matter what their health totals are. Let's just see. If I use another one, because this, this one will make sure that we see that it duplicates or not. 
So that way there'll be no doubt the double of the double of the double. <laughs> Do you know what I mean, chat? If if it's allowed to multiply, we are gonna have the most hilariously busted playthrough of Wild Arms. <laughs> oh, did you really put me to sleep? Oh, we dodged it, thank you. I was like, come on. Oh boy, let's see. Let's use combine. So let, let's witness chat. If it's a low number, we go back to the save state and we learn. Double, 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 yeah. Oh no, oh no, dying shamefully to the Pegasus. That is something. That is a way to lose. Or is that just a heal one? What does that do? Oh, just heals. Well, that's fine. Is it be oh, is it because I didn't equip the- Oh, it's probably because I didn't equip the other thing. That's unfortunate. So I guess we have an AoE heal, so let's go fix that. Let's summon water. I don't think we saw water last time. Yeah, I thought they were going to get shame killed by the pony, I'm not going to lie. Assault Tide. So at least we're showcasing new content, even though I rebounded slightly. Oh, death via turtle. Full steam ahead, chat. Turtle power. Go to heaven, I guess. I should just kill, right? Yeah. Alright, let's see how much XP this is. So if it's not an insane number, we undo it and we go see what Earth does? Okay, it only did it once. Okay, it only did it once. That's all we needed to know. So then what we could do... Uh, Earth... I don't think we saw Earths. You know what, chat? Let's get a couple more kills. If it's not gonna stack on the stack, why not? When else are we gonna get 4,000 per from this? Pretty much never. We'll do a gr another greedy five or so, how's that? I mean, I can't say no to them, money chat. That's so much time saved in the future. <laughs> I mean, we're getting like literally 600 a battle. This is 4,000 per enemy. Ridiculous. Yeah, let's grind it a little more. Let's get it close to like 300,000. How's that? Make it nice and round. Because every kill is 4k. I mean, you can't beat that. It's too powerful. Alright, so now... I guess the question is, chat. Level 35, maybe level 36. How much do you think this character is going to get at HP? This will be your final time to guess. We'll record your guesses for later. I'll do two more. But yeah, we're just going to go max our weapons and be done. So even if we get new weapons in the future, we should probably be fine. Like, 120,000 would have fixed, like, maybe one character. Double the double means we fix the other character. Because it's probably, like, 200,000 or so to go pure attack, for example. And we'll still earn some money in between. So let's say two more, and that'll be it. Graviton is the a very fast spell compared to the other one. Size so max level is 99. Yeah, the weapon max in the game is only level 10, so we only have to worry about that many upgrades per weapon. 35 is pretty insane. I imagine the game will be broken, so even if we can't use this character for a while, it's fine. Th that'll be our reward for the future, right chat? <laughs> okay, one more. Then we'll see what the Earth thing does. So much money, chat. Yeah, this was a huge oversight from them. Okay, enough stalling, time to move forward. So we'll get up to that same point and then we'll continue next time. Fight the bosses and see stuff. So that way we have something to look forward to. Okay. I'm through playing around, it's over. I believe I safe stated after one card, so we should be fine. 
Magnetron Bomb. There you go. He stomp. He smash. He creates a hole in the universe. Okay. Of course, I think he fell through the floor or something like that. Oh, look at that total. 37. <laughs> Holy. Wow. The power level. He has achieved godhood, chat. <laughs> All right, now we just mash through. Holy. I think we're 4,500. He's, you know what the sad part is? He's honestly not that far away from full-time AoE spells. Like, what an actual monster. He has to melee once and then he can AoE spell. That's kind of worth it. If he gets targeted at all, he just immediately does it. Yeah, we're just mashing through that dialogue. We've already read it. Then he changes to your pet, Chris. He's now level 37. That's as fair as we're going to make it. He has probably completely destroyed the party level curve. I think he almost got literally double the party. I think if we had gone to uh, 38 or 40, he would have gone there. He's definitely higher than the 18. It's going to be funny when they call him like really weak. 4200. Ooh, place it near Dango. Interesting. It's a good, it's a good call. Because you basically get everything that's under Dango. Dango got sniped. <laughs> Any bets, Kirk, how much HP this character will have later? Gaining, I think, 27 levels with HP up max. Come on. There we go. Come on. Gotta get through the dialogue. We have so much money now. I think from that standpoint, we basically... Even if it costs like 100,000 on the later arms, we have still the rest of the game to earn money via boss fights and other things. We didn't even use our double cards. I mean, I think that was the best possible place we could have used it. But in theory, we could still double card on a boss or something, which would be funny. We're just mashing through. Yeah, there's no way we're topping that. The stream session ended get like that much money. <laughs> we're like trying to like barely skirt by with like 10,000 at a time. Just get 33 times that amount. It's fun. So we write down the HP totals for the bet. So we have Dango, 4,500. We have Chris, 4,200. I don't see any other bets, but you have until I hit that save point. But we're going to get through this cutscene. <laughs> I was going to say, he went in a boy chat, but he left a man. <laughs> it just... Boom. <laughs> I am now the savior. He had, a, he had a true, like, JRPG protagonist power-up. Other characters, they had, like, their, their Black Knight forms. No, no, no. You don't understand. <laughs> he passed the trial. It's over. I don't know which room that is. He really will be the pillar of the group? I think so. Do we have to rename him Pillar? Maybe we do. He is the protagonist, so technically we can rename Hello. Calling him goodbye would also work. Because they're definitely not going to be surviving any of this. Yeah, I'm worried that if he gets captured, we're just not going to find it. So if I go through, do a boss fight, and he gets kidnapped, there's kind of, like, no point. Do you know what I mean? I'd rather be disappointed in another session. I want to live off the high of that ridiculous money total we now have. Game be broken. Let's look at our cash total. That is something. Buy all the berries in the world? I think so. Set of curiosity. 
How much time did that even take to do from our last save, according to this? I mean, we reset a couple times, but like in-game time. So we're level 19. Only about an hour more. That honestly was not a lot of time. Honestly, I think that was the most efficient power leveling I could have done. It's sadly only one to one character, but uh, I think that was kind of worth it to just not need money ever again for the rest of the game. <laughs> I, bet, I think that was kind of a good trade, you know? Just feel like, yeah, we're good. Until we get to like literally the last weapon, maybe. I mean, we have four weapons left. Even if each one costs like 80,000 to get a max ATP, it's gonna break the game pretty hard. Yeah, we don't even need to do max upgrades with some of these because they're already partially leveled, although we can't see their levels here. Hmm. Everybody shares a combine. Which is good because I don't really see any point in using Mystic at the moment. I'm sure it has some very interesting eight, like other capabilities. Yeah, that's that's not bad at all. Like if, if we're gonna grind, that was probably about as efficient as we can get. I mean, how often are we gonna fight enemies with more XP than that? I imagine not for like many more hours of story in the game. Like maybe at like the 30 hour mark, we might see something, but. Let's uh close out there though. So let's chat. That's the that's the alarm going off for when you power level. <laughs> right, Chad? Just a little bit. So how do we feel the session went? Well, uh, the puzzles were okay. They were mostly just get used to Puka. But oh boy, that was a very exploitable boss. That was a, what we like to call a big mistake. <laughs> that's why you don't give clones full XP. But hey, we just removed all the grinding with that character in the game in about an hour. Uh, we saved ourselves potentially literally 10 or more hours of money grinding since we got a hilarious amount of cash. We will still be getting cash throughout the game, of course, and we will still have to potentially level the other characters to some extent, but we're going to be doing so with basically maxed arms since we're just going to pick a weapon, cap it, done. And we're going to be running our full build early. And on top of that, we could buy any weapon upgrades we come across. I technically could buy armor, but let's be real, Chad. I don't think armor makes a difference, especially with the fact that levels seem to give so much defense uh, just from natural stats. So don't really need it, <laughs> especially not if we get a character that has permanent AoE heal. <laughs> He's probably going to be like four times their HP. He's just going to get solo targeted and I'll be like, oh, no, they're attacking the defenseless mage chat. Whatever will we do, nuke? <laughs> like just... I, I can't even imagine how disgusting his damage would be just from those levels. Like, just re just trying to remember, Chad. He was doing, like, 1,500 and 2,000 before. Imagine what he's going to do with magic up ranked. Keep in mind, he now has all those personal points he could start using now. So we could give him all the defense ups in the world, too, just to make him resistant to everything. So just in case something feasibly might hurt him sometime, it's all over. And then I don't even know what to do with the rest of his points. We could make his abilities cost less, by the way, chat, as a reminder. That's a thing in theory we could do. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think we need to do it, but I don't know what else he'd really want to spend points on other than defense. I mean, physical attack up seems like a waste on him. Although, to be honest, he probably does more damage than our protag now. <laughs> he just swings the Staff of Smiting and it's all over. Yeah, that was an intense power level, Chad. That was intense. So in theory, we could have gone further. We could have gone all the way to level 50, and that would have been absolute game over. But let's just see with how far we got what happens next time. Hopefully we get to play with him next time, but we'll see. But anyway, Chad, I think it's time to say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video or the VOD, I'd like to say thank you for watching. Hope to see you again in the next part.